Hello. How's it going? We should be live. Getting the feeling we're live. And YouTube's telling me we're live, so we should be live. Uh, we're gonna play some Baldur's Gate today. I know that might come as a bit of a shock. But it is indeed what we'll be doing. Uh, we got a little to-do list for the rest of the day. Uh, we're gonna try and take out Orin today, ideally. Um, I don't really know how the Orin fight is gonna go, because we are pretty good at not taking a ton of BPS damage, thanks to our gloves and our ring and whatnot. Uh, but we're not very great at dealing damage. Hi again, Daddy. Ooh, ooh. It's a hell of a first message to see at the start of today's stream. <laughs> but hey, Live Fay. Hey, Edward. How's it going? Oh my god. My cat. Sorry, I just. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my cat in the background, but she just ripped apart a page of a book. I sh uh, Give me one second. <laughs> sorry. Okay, I've given her a book that I care a little bit less about. Sorry about that. Bad way to start the stream. Uh, <laughs> how's it going, guys? Hey, Denki. Hey, Bad Magic Wings. Hey, Apollo. Hey, Davros. Hey, Jeremy. Rasmus, Eels on Wheels. Damon, Blaze Lays. How's it going? Hope you all are doing well. Gotta go for like an hour, but I'll see if I can come back in after that. Sounds good. Hey, Yarnbrain. How's it going? Uh, I won't be sorry. I don't say sorry. I say Sorry. Sorry, that's just how a normal person plays so say that. Yeah, that's just how a normal person says sorry. Or sorry, God, you guys got me self-conscious about it now. Hey, Floor. Hey, Wydig. Okay, let's um, let's get out of here. How does one leave this place? Over, over. That's where we entered. Over here. Hey, Loki, how's it going? I hope there's a four-hour Raphael fight this stream. We're definitely not getting to Raphael this stream. Don't get your hopes up about that one. We are level nine. Been loving this series, man. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, Colton. Uh, I'm going to get some... You know, I think for today's music... Just to mix things up, we're going to listen to the Hollow Knight soundtrack, since we've been listening to the, the Baldur's Gate 3 soundtrack for all these streams, you know? Just a nice little change of pace. Emperor Smash today? Yeah, that's that's on the list. It's one of the goals. Um, Let's maybe start by taking... Let's take a short rest, and then I think we're going to start by deal dealing with the... Oh man, we're pretty far off from level 10, huh? Okay, let's... Um... I'm going to turn down the music a wee bit. I do like the Hollow Knight soundtrack, but... We'll just turn it down a bit. Um, let's start with the Elf Song fight and see how that goes. I don't think it'll go well. We'll take a long rest. Do the. Mm. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head down to the docks. Um, we're gonna do the Volo fight because having Volo for the final battle is just really nice. His passive boon is is pretty sick. Uh, so we'll do the Volo fight, and then we're going to. Come back to the Elf Song Tavern and we'll take a long rest in between and then we'll do the Elf Song Tavern fight. Will you be voice acting Michelle during the romance? Good lord. Uh, I don't know if I have that in me. You missed the answer fight? Yeah, yeah, it was yesterday. It was, uh, 
you really didn't miss much that fight. I'm never doing that fight again. It is not my favorite. Um, yeah, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna save Volo. You could fight the clown in the circus for easy XP. True, I, I don't really care so much about the XP as I do just, you know, we got another short rest. We might as well use it, get our abilities back and then save Volo. And then we'll take a, a long rest, and then that way we're not wasting resources. Since I want to do the Volo fight anyways. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to down a potion of, or an elixir of... Our statue is just gone. That buff is just gone. Is that because of the Bless? The Bless just deleted it? It shouldn't matter for this fight anyways, but we'll see. Hopefully a long rest makes it come back, because if we just lost our statue buff, that's going to make me real sad. I was just thinking about this channel, hoping you would stream. Hey, well, we're streaming. Hey, Matt, have you ever went NYA before? I don't know what NYA means. Boney just scammed you? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, we'll do a little save here. I don't think we need to swap out any elixirs for this fight. Hopefully it's okay. What did I miss? I left yesterday around three hours in. We did the answer fight. That was pretty much the last, like, two and a half hours of the stream. Oh, you know, like, nya. Well, there you go. I just went nya right now. There's a salt, stat salt statue, and I licked it all. I'm sorry. That's a lot of salt. That is not good for you. Volo is so annoying to me. Really, I love Volo. I think he's such a cute little guy. He's just a little gremlin. The game sound is quite quiet. It's the exact same as yesterday, but I'll turn it up a little for you guys. Agent of chaos. Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is Is this a surprise stream? No, this is a planned stream. While well, Truant was fighting with a dragon, we marched on a necromancer. True, Chad had their own little battle. Morning, Corbett. How's it going? We'll help you, only because you're useful to us in the final battle, but... Oh, we'll just ready our weapon. And by that, our mind. For our mind is truly the greatest weapon. They got Parasite. Sounds like you need them. We already have maxed out Illithid abilities. So we don't really need Parasites. Nya clipped. Catgirl made moment immortalized on internet. Oh no. We have time to prepare for our next battle during Truant's Raphael fight. We can only hope that the Sinister Necromancer is going to show up for that. We really just, like, let them light this fire, huh? I guess I should have gone in with Sanctuary. No point in not going in with Sanctuary. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Oof, running straight into the fire. Um, we should... I also should have gone in with my cantrip active. I, I don't know why I've, I'm being so forgetful these days. Uh, for now, we're just going to ignore all these guys and we'll shoot Volo free. We'll provoke their little attack of opportunity. I don't really care. Yeah, nice job, Bozo. I guess we might as well fly up here, huh? Oh, but I didn't do it soon enough. We're out of move speed. Wah. All right, that's on me. I just woke up. Yeah, I'll be better. <laughs> Why did that just get fairy fired? Creature hit with this weapon will possibly be afflicted with fairy fire. Apparently, the chair is a creature. Hey, I'm a rainbow mushroom. How's it going? Would you ever do a challenge in honor mode? It's on the list. Yeah. 
Fear not. Um, and then... Well, we might as well stage fright all of these guys. Then I, I think we're, like, pretty much in the clear. Um, we could mind blast them, too. We'll... I kind of want them attacking, though, with the stage fright, so I think we'll just leave it at that. Oh, all our abilities recharged again. I hate that it does that in between areas. I feel scummy because I don't want to, like, remember all the abilities that I use all the time. Well, we used a short rest, so we, we definitely got that back. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just see what happens. How did you do emotional damage to the chair? I, I shot it with my bow. <laughs> They're just not attacking. They've given up. I I think because with disadvantage, it's just like statistically... They're just never going to hit us or something. I guess I should have used a mind blast on them. Look at the cowards running away. <clears throat> hey, I didn't know you were streaming these runs. How's it going, man? It's going good. Yeah, we've, uh, ev every run except for my, well, even my first one I streamed. I just didn't stream it on YouTube. Um, but yeah, all these runs get streamed. I'm glad you're here. It's going pretty good. Good luck with honor mode run. Damien and soft locked me at the beginning of act three and ruined run. That's brutal. How did that happen? Um, we'll go ahead and use black hole. Get all these guys in one big pile. And then we'll get them with a mind blast. Pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't even really know how that guy died. Uh, it sucks to be him, I guess. That was satisfying to watch. That, that that feels pretty good. I liked that. Yeah, they are going down, huh? Might as well fly up here. No reason not to. Also could have gone to Blazer Beast and finished them off, I guess. I just know this dude is Asian. Me? I'm sorry to disappoint, but I am half white, half Latino. And born in Canada. Oh no, my apartment building's got the vacuum going. I hope you guys can't hear that. Holy crap, I've never played with illicit powers. I didn't know how powerful Black Hole was. Yeah, Black Hole is insanely powerful. It is a guaranteed pull. There's no save for the pull. Oh, I know why they're not attacking. It's because they can't deal damage to us. It's not because they can't hit us. Because of our resistance and our damage reduction, I just don't think they can deal damage. Well, that's that fight done. Let's go chat with Volo. What's up, homie? God. I really thought I was done for. And hear the vacuum? Okay, excellent. I suppose tanks are in order. What are the other really good ones? Uh, I mean, Mind Blast is pretty sick, too. Uh, like, it deals a bunch of damage, stuns everybody in a massive AoE. Well, it has a chance to stun everybody. The bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. I'll tell you all about it. Hablar en <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to isolate my audience, you know? Meet me at your camp. Just joined in. Have a good stream, everybody. Hey, thank you. Fly is really good. Yeah, Fly is insanely good, too, of course. Um, we found out Absorb Intellect uh, just kills Watchers on its own, which is pretty funny. Um... 
Horse Tunnel is really good. I like it quite a lot. It's, uh, I mean, pretty similar to, to, to Black Hole in that its push is guaranteed. There's no save. Uh, and just that on its own is really nice. Obviously, Black Hole is better, but you get Black Hole significantly later. Uh, and we wouldn't be here without Concentrated Blast. So, big shout out to Concentrated Blast. I don't think it's good, but it's it's what's made it this ma help us made it this far with this run. And then I really like stage fright too, just giving enemies disadvantage on attacks and they take damage when they miss. Super sick. I'm Spanish, so I'll be fine if you speak Spanish. I probably won't, just because you know most of my audience speaks English. In fact, I'm willing to bet all of my audience at least understands English. I can't imagine why they would be watching me if they didn't. Uh, let's take that long rest now. And then we'll try and do the Elf Song Tavern fight. And we're going to fingers crossed hope it goes well. Any other British people in chat? Oh, we got we got one. Do you also play d and I do, yeah. I'm a big D&D fan. Uh, is Volo here? Yeah, we should talk to Volo. There's our, uh, there's our statue. It didn't run away. It is splendid to see you again, did you fight Onsir yesterday? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Two and a half hours. I think the actual fight was an hour and 45 minutes, but uh, we had to do the trials beforehand and get there. So all in all, it probably took a good two and a half hours out of the stream. Quite right. <clears throat> But it is not Blast actually deals equivalent damage to a high level cantrip and is a guaranteed hit, but the setup for it is shit unless you get the awaken buff. It's a shame it's so finicky. Yeah, it's I mean it does deal like pretty good damage and it can heal you, which is pretty cool. But the reason why I say it's not good is just because of even with the awaken buff, it takes if you want to do it like every single turn at least, it takes both an action and a bonus action. And it's just not really worth it unless you go thief and then also a concentration cantrip class, which is like, at that point, there's just so many other builds you can make work. I'm Irish, the whitest of white. You can go ahead and speak whatever. I mean, I could. I guess I could. I could just switch to a, a, a Spanish-speaking content creator. But my Spanish also isn't, like, the best. It's okay. Yeah, no ways to buff it further. Exactly. Not a lot of damage writers work for it, either. Um... I mean, I'll do it, but it's because I'm already doing it, so... Ola or something? Hey, that's, that's pretty good. I'm just here for the vibes. Fair enough. I wish, there were some, I wish there were some items that specifically buffed illithid powers. That would be pretty cool. I would like that too. I've already slain Merkel's Chosen. I can handle this. I chose German. I'd like to learn German at some point. I think my next language that I'm going to try and learn is going to be either Romanian or French. I wish you luck, my friend. Just because I have friends that speak both of those languages, and I have one friend who's already taught me like a little bit of Romanian. Learn Swedish, bro? Nah, I'm not too interested in Swedish, I'm gonna be real with you. How many languages do you know? Just two. Spanish, English. Would the shapeshifter ring help with the displacer beast form? I mean, technically, but... Yeah, it's... The Blazer Beast form, I don't think, is really going to be that good either way, just because we are a lone wolf character, and when you switch to Displacer Beast form, you just lose all of your AC and then die in, like, three swings. Don't learn Dutch as a trash language. Dutch is on my list, unfortunately, because that's my other half. I'm half Guatemalan, half Dutch. So, I'm going to get around to it. Hey, Pedro. How's it going? Did you get tentacled already? Um, 
No, we haven't had our our fling with the with the emperor, if that's what you mean. That's what we're that's why we're doing the elf song tavern fight, which is is it not right here? Pretty sure it's right there. Don't do French for your own sanity. Yeah. From what I've heard, French is uh, a little rough around the edge. Okay, we did get Sweetstone Features back, so I guess it does uh, just get deleted by Bless, which, uh, noted, we will avoid doing that. We should have an Elixir of Psychic Resistance. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and take this. Now we no longer have vulnerability to Psychic Damage. This fight's still probably going to suck booty. Um... Oh, I love this song. This is the Storm Show. Storm Show. You know what? While we're here, we might as well buy some stuff. Welcome back, child of faith. You have come far, I perceive. I'm learning Japanese and I'm fluent in German and English. And in my opinion, Japanese isn't that hard. Interesting. Even like the written language isn't that hard for you. Uh, we're gonna buy an elixir of heroism because I love my elixirs of heroism. We're gonna buy some healing potions, since we used a lot of them in our fight against the big man. And I guess we'll sell that. 594? You gotta be joking me. Wait, do we have something else we can sell? We really don't need Killer Sweetheart. Eh, eh, we'll just take the loss. It sucks a little bit, but oh well. Is there anything else he has that we want? Here, you one of these. And then we'll sell Killer Sweetheart. Oh, we're still up. Okay, hold up. No, that was the wrong one. Ah! Just so we're not wasting money. Good luck on the run, off to work. Okay, have fun at work. Thanks for stopping by. Try learning Brazilian Portuguese, it's easy, trust me. I feel like I could, just based off of like how similar Spanish and Portuguese can be. But it might confuse me. Are you going to help the Starving Mind Flayer? Uh, probably not, no. Have you done Vamp? No, not yet. Um, we'll probably do Vamp just, uh, just for the experience, you know? We might get around to it today. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where we're at after doing the the stuff that I, I have on the list today. Oh, I forgot about the rats. Um, I don't really want to waste resources on these guys, but I might go for a repulsor just so we're not here for like an actual eternity. Because I don't think they're going to blow up from this. Yeah, they do not. Alright, gather around, kids. Out of all the languages, I think sign language might be the most useful. Yeah, sign language would be pretty useful. But I just prefer learning spoken languages. What's on the list for today? Uh, so the main list is just the Elf Song Tavern fight. Um... Gonna do a little bit of XP grinding to get our stuff up there, which might be the Kazador fight, uh, depending on where we're at. And then we're gonna give the Orin uh, fight a chance. I think we'll do the Orin fight after we hit level 10. Okay, we'll just hit him with the old repulse. Whoa, that was instant. There was no loading time on that. I'm wondering how you're gonna kill the brain in five turns. We're just gonna turn into Displacer Beast, use Fierce Perilous Stakes. We crit on a 15 or higher after that point. We deal an extra 15 points of psychic damage. Displacer Beast deals 46 on each of its swings. We swing three times with each action. We'll down a potion of speed. We'll swing for six times, add 15 damage to each of those, start critting. It won't be a problem, trust me.
Ah oh, yes, completely forgot about the Displacer Beast. Yeah, it's... If we if it wasn't for Displacer Beast, I just don't think it would be possible. Um, but yeah. What classes would you recommend for a Bard for Honor Mode? Uh, I mean, if you're planning on multi-classing, uh, Paladin, Bard, super sick. Paladin Swords Bard, of course. Where's the little button of yours? Over here. Someone did his math homework, yeah. I was, uh, I don't know, somebody asked me yesterday, yeah, yesterday's stream, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, is it possible? I didn't actually do the math. And then I thought about it for like five seconds, and I was like, yeah, it's possible. When you were a Mind Flayer, Black Hole does damage, so you could just spam that against the brain. True, I could just do that too. I forgot we're going to be turning into like a full-on Mind Flayer as well. I'm not stressed either way. Um, Let's take a... Sh nah, we won't need Repulsor. We'll just do a little quick save. We'll go in with Sanctuary Resistance. Yeah. Sanctuary Resistance. And we'll start heading towards the side a little bit so we can be a little closer to the portals. Here you are, as brazen as described. The traitor who would steal from our queen. Of course you had help, didn't you? I got a silly job, but I'm secretly watching while working. Hey, glad to have you here, Peyton. You also get mind blast once per turn? Yeah, we're not stressing. We're not stressing. We know all about the Emperor and its dealings with you. Though I must confess, its peculiar relationship with you threw us off course for a while. Gith on Gith violence, let's go. Yeah, they have dialogue. Only partially transformed. They're yapping away. Are you gonna don the Emperor's armor? I don't think so. I don't really want to take the hit to our AC. Um... I am not serving him. I serve one far greater than any any Illithid, myself. You have fallen prey to its manipulation. Your story ends here. Some of the most fun I had in this game was doing the Illithid glitch and just screwing over Act 3 as a squid boy. Yeah, I heard about that. You can turn into an Illithid at like the start of Act 2. Um, you can certainly die trying. Hi, Pookies. How are we all? We're doing good, Thomas. How are you? Oh, wow. We actually rolled pretty good on initiative. I guess that is going to start happening thanks to our bow. Uh, okay, so... I would like to kill these two pretty quickly. So I think we're going to start by... Flying up here. I don't think we can kill them both in, in this turn, can we? Can we black hole this guy and move him to, to break his concentration? Does that work? Michelle looks so good in that armor with that color scheme. Yeah, we had our fashion uh our fashion stream yesterday, so we look pretty pretty decked out. Uh, you know, it's okay. We'll let we'll let him spawn one guy. I'm sure it'll be fine. Famous last words. Uh, we'll just fly up here. Blast this guy. So these guys... Some of them, I think, normally have resistance to psychic damage. Maybe I'm mistaken. Hmm, I guess not. Maybe it was just the, the other guys. Are you, are you kidding me? We can't see them from here? I'm gonna lose it. Wait... Oh, wait, no, no, we can. I don't know why that wasn't working for, like, a second. Okay, that's that one down. And then we're gonna... Cunning action... Dash... Fly... 
I don't want to fly, like, directly into the middle of all of them. Maybe they'll be forced to dash. I think we'll be just fine if we move over here. And then cast resistance. I think we should be good on this fight. We'll see. Um, this lady's a little scary, obviously. We can stop this from happening. Uh, I think we'll, we'll save it. Yeah, I didn't expect to take a ton of damage from that. Do you plan on going to the House of Hope? Yeah, that I do want to do, for sure. Uh, we will psionic dominance that. I do not want to get a whole person. I'm just not going to risk it. Especially not when one of the portals is still up. Okay, I'm glad that didn't work. What dictates whether jump or fly becomes your Z key bind? I haven't the faintest idea. Can I go to custom and, and set fly as like three? I can. Okay, that works. I can work with that. Whole person slash monster is insane when it hits. Yeah, yeah, especially as a lone wolf run. Hey, question, what about getting the legendary rapier for two reactions per turn? Uh, I'm pretty sure that only works when you don't have an offhand. And I really like how both of my stuff gives me more AC. Like, this is plus three AC. I have a hard time giving that up. Especially when this also gives opponents reeling and this also reduces BPS damage. Like, the other reaction might be nice, but I think just having the AC and survivability is better. I think that part works with both hands full. Okay, yeah, yeah, double check. I don't think it'll change anything for me either, just because I, I really do like the defender flail. Ah, uh, we one-shot them. They didn't explode. Okay, well, that's the portal people done. Uh, and then I think our next part of this is we're going to try and get everybody bundled up with mayhaps a... A black hole, and then we'll go for a mind blast. Maybe we drop a... Dage Fright in there at some point after the mind blast. Hmm, what do you have? What's your intelligence? Wow, they're very smart, my goodness. We're just, you know what, just because we can, we're going to try and fracture Psyche, this guy. Didn't work. That's okay. Just move into the corner a little bit. I, um, I forgot to cast light on ourselves after the long rest. Nope, yeah, you're right. Empty offhand. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I don't think it's worth taking a minus three to our AC and losing out on our weapons abilities just for an extra reaction. Sometimes the Vaconia's Walking Fortress is the people we met along the way. We'll get Vaconia's Walking Fortress too, don't you worry. <laughs> Vaconia's Walking Fortress is definitely on the list. I was actually thinking we might do that today as well. Uh, just because I honestly don't think that fight will be too difficult for us. Uh, we'll just head to the steel foundry, grab the helmet there that makes us immune to being blinded. And then we should be good. Um, I would like to pull that person in too. Yeah, I think this is pretty good for us. If we just pull all these guys, so we'll do a little black hole. Okay, we didn't get this per- I mean, we, we like got them, but they just didn't get pulled over the railing. Can we hit them with the mind blast? We cannot. Do I want to mind blast just four people? Pretty good. I think we do. Like, it kind of sucks that it didn't work out perfectly, but it's pretty good. We could also go for a stage fright. But I don't think this will work on a lot of them. Yeah, 19%, 45%. 
Uh, what options would Michelle pick in the mapping of the heart? We'll have to find out. I don't have the options memorized. Would this even be possible in honor mode because of the brain's invulnerability to the last round's damage type? I think we can... If we can't one turn the brain, then I think we could two turn it. And then in which case there would just be like one round where we don't uh, deal damage to it. Which is okay. I, I definitely think it would be doable in honor mode. Yeah, let's just let's just go for this. Oh, apparently it only deals damage if they fail the save. That's good to know. Hmm. This might be harder than I thought. Uh, we'll just keep flying around the place. Fly over here. I just got here. Have you used the Displacer Beast yet? Not this stream, no. Get Handsome Zevlor mod and act like he didn't change? That's a good idea. We're just blasting each other. I hate the mobility on these guys. All the tieflings are moggers anyway, it's so true. Uh, we could trigger the attack of opportunity to try and finish off the veteran raider. I don't think it's really worth it. Who, who are the people casting hold person on us? Veteran Gish Zendadia. This person. So I think it's the veteran Gishes who are casting it. In which case, we would like to deal with the veteran Gishes. They're also the people who are, like, immune to stage fright. Um, I think this is a black hole psionic blast turn. We'll just keep slowing them. Go for that. Yeah. Uh, we'll start by blasting, though. Pretty good damage. I mean, they're really, they're really saving on these slows, though. And then we'll start flying. We could fly back this way. I don't hate that idea. They're probably going to jump up that way, but I mean, they could just jump that way, too. So, yeah, screw it. High ground. High ground never hurt anybody. It's such a noticeable change to his butt, too. It's huge. The big butt Gortash mod. My goodness. <laughs> Tiefling Tav doesn't speak because he can't lose his mewing streak. <laughs> B-blast, M-blast, P-blast. Yeah, there's a lot of blasts. These veteran gishes, they're starting to scare me. Hello, I just finished watching your last stream, so this is perfect timing. Hey, glad you're here, Dionysos. Di Dion Dionysos. Where's the one that I do want to hurt? That one. That one's lower health. Pull these guys again. That's that person's legendary resistance gone, apparently. They did not get pulled as, as far as I would have hoped. Um... We'll just blast this person. That's okay. We can work with that. And then we'll just fly back over here. Whee. Are you allowing scrolls in this run or not? Nah? I mean, we can use scrolls on ourselves, but we can't use anything that directly affects enemies other than illithid powers. Would an arcane acuity elixir help for the saves, or does it not affect it? It would help for the saves, yeah. We could do that, for sure. I don't really care too much about blindness, but I mean... Might as well do that.
Yeah, welcome back, Captain Cockblock. They didn't even try and get close to me this round. Which is kind of annoying. I, I think we might just move, fly up here and then dash and then just fly back. Go for a little, uh, a little sea blast. Keep hitting this guy. A little cunning action dash. Do a little fly away. This fight's going a lot better than I thought it would. Who have you defeated in this act so far? Oh man, breaking our concentration sucks. Um, I'm a little worried about that. I might reset our resistance so that we're still ending our turn with it. I don't know, these guys just standing there is kind of weird though. Maybe we disengage dash. Yeah, we'll disengage dash and then just like call it a turn. Fly over here, just reset our resistance and then so we don't have to worry so much. Uh, who have we defeated so far? We beat Answer. That was a pretty big one. Uh, we beat... Who else did we beat? What did we do last stream? <laughs> Uh, I mean, we did the Volo fight. Oh yeah, we, we did the Dame Aelin fight too. That was a disaster. Um, but we did it. Uh, yeah, those are the big ones. Dame Aelin fight, Onster fight. Um, yeah, pretty much it. Those are the veteran Gishes we want to blow up. So if you don't use Black Hole for like a couple turns, you just don't get to use it again, huh? It just like deletes itself. That's okay. Mm. That was pretty miserable damage, unfortunately. But we'll get them next turn. We might even get them with a Psionic Backlash if they try and cast a spell on it on us. I think I might save Psionic Backlash for that. We'll see. Mind Blast every gift. We've already used Mind Blast. We used it on four of them. Three of them saved. You guys talking about look ma look smacking in chat? That's funny. Hey Slade, how's it going? I don't know if you'll watch Curtis Connor, but um, uh, man, he has a great video on look smacking. It's phenomenal. Yeah, that is one less veteran gish to worry about, and I'm honestly not too stressed about this guy. Getting an attack of opportunity on us. I should have, however, provoked the attack of opportunity before I used my cantrip. In case he hits us for temp HP purposes. But he did not hit us, so we're good. But that was a suboptimal play. Not that we're strangers to those on this stream. Bro, how do you beat Merkel in Tactician? There's a video of how I did it. Um, it's on my YouTube channel. You should go check it out. I mean, it's like the last like couple minutes of the video, but it's there. It did take ages, but it also didn't take as long as the answer fight. <laughs> Watching these streams have granted me the virtue of patience. Yeah, uh, the Illithid only challenge is definitely... Uh, Big patience required. And damage. That's not a lot of damage. Especially for a man who claims to be steeped in bliss. I mean, I could stage fright. There's not... I mean, there's not a lot of point in doing it, but there's not a lot of point in, in not doing it either, so... Screw it. Why not? Hey, we got the big lady. Yeah. 
Have you decided on which weird caster is next? I mean, the poll is gonna be up until the Act 3 Illithid video is done, but just from the early votes, it's looking like Warlock. He first tried Merkel with a little Pogchamp. I did first try Merkel. I'm pretty proud of that. What is the Dame Aelin fight? Like, if you go against her, it's it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. She, like, summons three cronies uh, that each have, like, 300 HP and deal up to, like, 100 damage on each attack. And then they also have a reaction where whenever you damage them, they get to hit you for a up to 100 damage. Uh... It was a little, it was a little scary, and I wasn't ready for it, but, um, we still first tried that fight, too. Granted, the fight did fall apart at the seams, but... Hey, that dude is almost done for. Where were her cronies during the Merkel fight? Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Certainly not me. I'm struggling with four players, Lamau. I'm on my sixth try, but I guess I shouldn't have brought piercing weapons. Yeah, piercing weapons. I'm pretty sure Merkel has resistance to that. That fight was hilarious. It was pretty funny. I, I did feel like I was losing my mind a little bit. That was, I think, the most broken I've seen the game get. Which I guess I should be grateful for. Okay. We are going to provoke an attack of opportunity if we... ...move away from this dude. How scared of this dude are we? Probably a little bit scared. They are a paladin. But I think I want to save... Just, just due to the positioning, I kind of want to save my... ...bonus action for dashing. We could Misty Step too. Yeah, let's do that actually. We'll Misty Step down here. Go for a blast, fly away. It's a two for one disengage dash. That's another one down. Then we'll, we'll zip away. Try and keep up, bozos. How do you fight Aelin? If you, uh, if you turn her into Leroican, you fight her. If you end up playing Warlock, remember their spell slots also refresh on level ups. That's interesting. Okay, well, we might as well take this guy out. Another one bites the dust. How smart are you? You're not that smart, but you're not smart enough for us to absorb your intellect. I mean, I'm not really expecting these guys to have, like, six intelligence, but... It would be nice. It would definitely be nice. Uh, I think we're gonna disengage and then fly down this way. That one elemental who does the healing vapors was the only thing keeping my evil party alive ripped to him. I don't think the Elementals did, like, anything in our day, Malin fight. Which one should we go for first? Probably this one, since they're on our ass all the time, and they're a paladin. Yeah, we'll just keep disengaging, flying away. No reason to do anything else. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We'll fly over here. The turrets help a lot though, right? Yeah, those turrets, they sure were helpful in the Leroyken fight. They used their corpses to distract Aelin. They did do that. Yeah, Aelin really hated their corpses. Okay, we'll hit him with the blast. What are they saving against, by the way? Fiendish fire. 
that applies to our concentrated blast? Okay, I was not expecting that to apply to our concentrated blast. What? Okay, interesting. Sure, why not? The recording session for the Illithid powers must have been interesting. Oh yeah, with all the moaning and stuff. Damien is so annoying. I hate how she acts so confident despite literally being useless in the fight against Catherick and also needing to be saved twice within the span of Act 2. I totally agree. I I agree wholeheartedly. The worst part is the insult of how powerful she gets when you fight or when you fight against her, yeah. I was expecting this fight to be a lot harder. Uh, on my first playthrough, which is the only other playthrough I think I've done this fight on, it was like, it took it out of me, man. I struggled quite a lot with this fight. And that was like, with like an actual build where I was allowed to, you know, do stuff. And I was using Illithid powers. And I was playing on balanced. But I guess that just shows how far I've come. They just had all eight Taviers in a room moaning, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, time to fly over here. Can't quite reach up there. That's okay. How are you planning to take out the devil? Um, the basic plan is we're going to use Sanctuary, lure him and all of his cronies out of the room, use Arcane Lock to lock them out of the room, use Displacer Beast to destroy all the pillars, and then from there I don't think we're too scared. We get them with the, the stage frights, the mind blasts, the, the what have yous. How many astral steps do they get? I'm pretty sure it's unlimited. Because they are simply built different. To be fair, when Damien hits, she hits. True, but you could say that about any paladin. Like, she's not special. In fact, she's kind of just worse than a regular paladin would be at that level because her AC is garbage her damage is like not that incredible none of their moans are as good as truant moans truant for Baldur's Gate 4 tab VA option petition that would be sick I would love to just moan into a mic you'll never catch me alive ha 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 Damien got nothing on my paladin that one turned Raphael. How did that go? Because doesn't he have like radiant retaliation? Ah, uh, that was a lot of damage. Do it for us now for the vine. If you join our Discord server, there's a link in the description. There is uh, there's quite a few clips of me moaning. Uh, I feel a little a little dirty doing it on command, so I'm not gonna do it right now. But. <laughs> There is always those clips. Oh, hell yeah, I'm in. <laughs> hey, whatever gets the folks coming in. Yeah, I'm doing a paladin attack and I'm, I'm like a sickle in a field. Class is too powerful. Paladin is pretty strong, yeah. I, I don't know if I'd go so far as too powerful, but they are pretty dang strong. Alright, just you and me, lady. Do you do anything other than Eldritch Blast? If I move in close, are you going to hit me? Time to find out. Doesn't look like it. Hey, she's running away! She's not steeped in bliss. I was not close enough. That's my bad. Whatever gets the folks coming. Yeah, I guess that came out wrong, huh? Do you have resistance? Okay, she does have resistance normally. So, killing her might take a little while. Brunt needs to learn to have some self-preservation, I fear. What do you mean? We've done so good at preserving ourselves. Oh, are you talking about the, like, running up and 
being if she's gonna hit me thing? Yeah, that was, <laughs> I guess so. We're cornering her. I also realized that I, I hotkeyed fly and then I not once have I used the hotkey. So, shoutouts for me for doing that. <laughs> it's very cool of me. What's your favorite class? I haven't played all the classes in Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, in Tabletop D&D 5th Edition, my favorite is probably a tie between Wizard and Barbarian. The Khan, more like Sek, can't hit you. Worst Eldritch Blast ever? Sure, yeah, for real. This is honestly pathetic. I wonder what her to hit is. Which wizard subclass? Uh, I mean... That's a good question. What wizard subclass is my favorite? I played an Onomancer in a pretty long campaign, which is an Unearthed Arcana subclass. And that was a ton of fun, so I'm gonna go with that one. I feel so bad for this gift. They watched all their friends die, and now they're slowly being chipped away. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Look at how- look at our health, too. Without using a single healing potion this fight. I mean, she has gotten past the temp HP a few times, but we heal for six at the start of each of our turns, so... Uh-oh, I've got a little gremlin. What are you doing, Theodosia? She's so mad that I'm not playing with her. I did handle it pretty well, yeah. We used one spell slot and lost zero HP. I'd say that's pretty well. Get that stuff. Okay, hold up. That did not help with the weight a lot. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Send our camp supplies back to camp. Whoops, this one over here. Okay. Feeling better about that. What does this loot do? When a Githyanki casts fly, their next melee weapon attack deals an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage. Neat. Is there an uwu speak mod for this game that includes voice changes yet? I have no idea. Hey Daquan, how's it going? Have you been keeping up with the one D and D? I really like the playtest seven version of the Warlock. I have not been keeping up with one D and D. Me and my me and my friends have just been playing fifth edition contentedly, like a bunch of simpletons. At least I've been playing it contentedly. I hope they have been too. <laughs> Alrighty, what's in here? Something over there. Something over where? Hmm. Oh my god, oh, my cat just scratched my butt. Why'd you do that? There's a mod when you miss a dice roll, the bruh sound comes. I, I want to do, oh, what the fuck? What is this creature doing? I'm being cyber bullied by my cat. What the heck? Good lord. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check to see how ugly I look right now, and then I'm gonna turn on my webcam so you guys can see this. Okay, my hair's a little messy, but yeah, we're gonna do a cat cam real quick. There she is. You can see her. She's right there. She's just shoved herself behind me. Here here she is. You're always beautiful. Thanks, Damon. My hair's a little messy, he says, wearing a hat. That's why I put the hat on. <laughs> Turn on the stream and you're showing off your lap. Yeah, I know. How scandalous. An old container for brains. Empty. Shame. It would have been nice to find one to 
I would have stolen it. Whoa, there's... Yeah, I don't really like losing the damage reduction, the, the minus one to AC either. Like, I guess Frightened Immunity is nice, but I just don't think that's worth it. This is also pretty interesting. We don't Charm or Frighten a ton, but we could turn Charm back on and maybe start trying. Do we need to do anything else in here to, to appease our... Oops, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. To appease our buddy. Has he been appeased? That would be useful for the Merkle fight? Yeah, no kidding. What's in your backpack? Nothing. Is there anything in this room at all? Guess not. I know there's some loot just down here, though. Ankle cam next for all the ankle biters here? Uh-oh. I gotta keep my ankles covered. I ain't no, uh... Harlot. Give me all your stuff. Since all, you're all pro Illith did this playthrough, are you going to bang the Emperor? Yeah, that's why I did that fight. I was told I needed to do it to bang him. Ah, uh, okay. Let's get it over with. I mean... Level 9. You guys think we can do the House of Grief fight right now? I mean, this stuff comes on, back on a long rest, too, so I guess we'd probably want to do this before, or take a long rest before anyways. <laughs> He's stalling. <laughs> oh no, you're on to me. Need to grab blind, well, yeah, after grabbing blind immunity. How much for the voiceover? <laughs> I'll, uh, okay, well... We'll take a long rest, and then we will... We'll try our hand at the House of Grief, honestly. There's, you know, there's no harm in it. Other than, you know, maybe dying. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm interested. Oh, you won't be taking any rest. Good lord, you people. Animals, all of you. House of Grief is the most annoying boss fight in the game. Not hardest, but most annoying. True, but we do get the Viconia's Walking Fortress, which is very appealing to me. As well as the plus two to our... Um, what you might call it? Plus two to our stat of choice, which I don't know if it's going to be Wisdom. I think it might be Constitution, honestly. Okay, I'll turn off the boss fight music real quick. We'll, we'll just have the sensual soundscape of the astral plane. Oh, good lord. <laughs> no, keep it on. You might need some more camp supplies. Yeah, when we, when, when we need it, we'll get it. It's time, yeah, the much-awaited Emperor sex scene since Act 1. I've never actually done Viconia's fight before, what makes it so difficult anyway. Uh, it's just like, just a ridiculous amount of people that all like blinding you all the time, and they don't care about being blinded, and they have Radiant Retort just to add insult to injury. Ah. <sighs> You led an exciting life. Why did you conceal it from me? Look at his throbbing side brain. I have to. Careless whisper time? I actually, it crossed my mind for a second, but then I was like, wait, no, that's 100% going to get me DMCA'd. So I did what I had to. 
Just black hole all the folks in a spot and mind blast them? That's the plan. Yeah, that's why I think we can do it even at level 9. Like, how is that not manipulative? I hate that I have to bang this guy. What are you guys making me do? Okay, we'll do the, the, the Michelle voice acting. Uh, what kind of voice does Michelle have? Should she be British? <laughs> oh, good lord. And what did you learn? Complex and full of contradictions. Sultry. <laughs> Please be British. I don't do a great I British accent. Cajole, but you responded well to logic. From what I've seen, she should have a villain type. Oh, she definitely should, yeah. You saw straight to the core of what really mattered. I enjoy our conversations. As did I. <laughs> Michelle willed his clothes off with only her mind, yeah. I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something. This is anti-feminist. How? <laughs> True. You know, this might be our last chance to explore the possibility. Why does she speak in cursive? <laughs> is that something? Just got done with classes. What's up, everyone? Go back to classes, Anthony. <laughs> oh no. Feeling. The Emperor's feeling. Heat, care, arousal. Oh, make it stop. <laughs> arousal, yeah. Oh, make it stop. <laughs> I just got out of class two, dot dot. Why are you making me guys me do this? What the heck? Take its tentacle in your hand, invite it in. <laughs> what the No You're going to hell for this one, homie? I was forced into this. Its breathing quickens as you pull in close to its face. Its excitement pounds. Invited into what? You pause a moment as a thought occurs to you. Oh, good lord. I feel like there's a real chance of this video getting demonetized. The memory stirs. Diagrams in a book you read long ago. You're getting the achievement, Drew. Oh, no. <laughs> the subtitles. He's not even making any noise in the actual game. What did I just tune into? Me losing my mind. I love the duality here between OMG, I arrived just at the perfect time, let's go, and what did I tune into? Literally the next message. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> ah, what the fuck? Ooh. Oh, what the, uh, no, no. <laughs> hey, first time catching a stream, what's going on? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got the achievement. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you guys heard that. Oh, no. It's also my first stream. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was forced into it. Finally, the perfect run. This was purely for strategic reasons. Yeah, I'm going for 100%ing for the game. All achievements. 
It keeps going. It's so quiet too. I feel like there's supposed to be like centuries music playing, but because I haven't muted, it's just like weird, eerie ambiance. I want out. No, we're watching this together. You guys made me do this. Now we're all watching it. We're all suffering. Oh, he's going right for the booty. This is beautiful. Y'all have no taste. When I slept with it, it did not seem this long. When you did what? Oh my god, my cat is here to, to end my suffering. Everything you ever dreamt of and more. The single greatest experience. <laughs> the pasties. Of your life. <laughs> oh god. It's a, yeah, we're, we're my Christian friendly Minecraft channel. Theodosia, you're too young to watch this. You can't be here. Look away. I wish we had a face cam reaction to this. It's mostly just me crying. Connected on a deeper level. You know it feels the same way. Come. Should give you. <laughs> Sorry, that that line of dialogue uh, really caught me off guard. <laughs> Come. Um. The business then, please. Just I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, gang. Easy with the butt shots, okay? I gotta, I gotta get this monetized. Okay, thank God the clothes are back. <laughs> the Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. <laughs> oh my God! Thank God it's over. <laughs> First stream I've joined, if this is what we do here, count me in, yeah. <laughs> Just throwing some sensor bars for the video? Oh yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna tastefully cut around old ass shots for the video. Um, it's mostly like the VOD that I'm talking about. Well, that was a certified mind blast. <laughs> Oh, thank God it's over. All right. <clears throat> wow, that was quite the ordeal. We survived. Uh, let's go try and uh, take Viconia's shield. Okay, let's just uh, sneak in here. And then grab the Steel Watcher helmet, and then we'll sneak out. Let's go ahead and down a Potion of Invisibility. Throw on turn-based mode. Fly over here. You really just did kill his ex and then sleep with him, didn't you? Unfortunately, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Zoom away. Oh my goodness. That was... I'm gonna have trouble closing my eyes from now on. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll just meander a little more this way. On an actual note, Emperor does have them hunter eyes and 45 degrees tilted perfect chin. <laughs> so I think the helmet we're looking for is like over up here somewhere, right? Over there maybe? I do not remember. We're going to fly around and find out. What we just got here, thought we were siding with Gortash. We are, we are. I'm just here for a helmet and then I'm leaving. Don't you worry. Don't see the helmet over there. Probably over here then. I also am going to start remembering that I have fly hotkeyed. Oh, gross. Cutscene. I don't care about this. 
I need to... Okay, because this isn't really relevant for our story, I'm just gonna skip over this. Ah, they booted us out of turn-based mode. Rude. Where is that helmet? Maybe it's in the back room. Do you have the helmet on you? No. I don't need any attention right now. Below, bottom floor on table? Okay, thanks guys. Knew I could count on you. Bottom floor on a table. Targeting module. Is it like way down here? Oh, is that it right there? Hmm. Where the heck? There it is. There it is. I found it. Is picking this up going to reveal me? I sure hope not. Well, we don't have enough movement to get to it this turn, so... Just, just stay awake. Yes, it is. Okay. That's okay, we've got some more potions of invisibility. Like we were never here. Let's get out of here. Quick save? Yeah, I guess I probably should have done that, huh? That wouldn't have been a horrible idea. Talk save. Don't do that. Oh, I gotta get the music going again. I was like, what's missing? Michelle even had stealth missions. Yeah, we got it all. That easy. Hot key truant. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll remember. I'll remember, I promise. <laughs> I promise. At least I'm starting to use it, like, every now and then. Okay. Now, let's go see if we can take on Viconia and her cronies. Her Vicronies. I think we can do this fight, like, pretty... Well, maybe not pretty easily, but I think we can do it. How the F do you get salts? Um, various ingredients. Oh my goodness. Sorry, cat just climbed all over me. If you mouse over an ingredient, it'll show you uh, what it gives if you, like, break it down. Grind them into salts, for example. I think it might be even longer than Merkel, but less than Onser. Uh, that's a thin window. Have the polls decided which build you're doing next? I'm partial to Warlock, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna close the polls until uh, I'm finished making the Act 3 Illithid video. But it does look like Warlock is gonna win. Okay, now for the hardest part, actually getting inside. We don't have enough gold, do we? Like, 204. Welcome to the house of grief. What does the helmet do? It gives us immunity to blindness, so we can see when they cast darkness on us. It does suck to lose our Baldurin's home. Cat just fell into my Peter. Uh, <laughs> Can we sell stuff? No, you you have 13 gold. How do you charge 1,000 gold Perhaps per, like, entry and only have 13 gold on you? We release people of the suffering in their hearts. Melancholy. 
They really nailed the MLM soccer mom look for Miri. They really did, yeah. Troubling memories. And of course, grief. I think you could benefit from our help. Isn't there a ring that prevents blindness? There is. Yeah, we just didn't get it. Desperately need our help. I sense. It's in Act Two. Um, you should really grab that sometime. I mean, yeah, it's it's good, but I don't really care about just swapping the helmet. Like, it's okay. I think our rings are kind of better than the helmet, anyways. If I'm being honest. Ow! Oh, Theodosia, come here. I need to, I need to do something with my little cat. She's running away. <laughs> she just slammed head first into my knee and then just ran away. Did you light yourself? I will. I will. Thank you. Uh, well, we might as well do the insight check. Nope. Bite her? I'm not gonna bite my baby cat. He's just a little baby. Damn, this House of Grief thing seems pretty cool. I sure hope it isn't a front for a memory-stealing evil goddess worshipping cult. No, probably not. I want to be unburdened. There is the matter of the fee. A trifling sum compared to the peace we can grant you. Rest assured. Only a thousand? I've changed my mind. Bye. All right, let's go talk to the doorman. We can, like, kill these guys with no repercussions, right? You should change your Radiant Ring? Why? It's the only sort of damage boost that we have. Why would I do that? Give me light. How is that guy level 4 and 100 HP hacking? You're eager. Good. But there is a right order to things. They turn hostile after Before Viconia dies enter, anyways, really. Must agree to the house of grief's terms and price. Speak to the attendant by the front. She He's playing on explorer. Yeah, clearly. Then you will be free to enter. What the heck? Um, you know what? Let's do intimidation. Just because the deception is so awkward, we need to turn on turn boys mode and pickpocket and sneak in. Eh, we can do deception. Yeah, we'll do deception. Easy peasy. Perhaps I should do just that. Okay, Theodosia, enough of your tomfoolery. Away with ye beast. Oof, that that's upsetting. Okay, we're good. Okay, we'll just phase inside, I suppose. That works. Do not, do not truant threat the cat. Do not the cat. She's just a little girl. This is your time, not mine. I'm gonna chug some water while we let this play out. See what will be discovered. Who are you? Don't be concerned with who I am. Instead, consider what I can do for you. You are here because something grieves you. <clears throat> Perhaps you know what that is. All right, time to find out what grieves us. You only think you know. The mapping will reveal your Yeah, exactly. Heart. Hug the cat. Then the healing can begin. Answer the questions I put to you and answer honestly. The lips may try to deceive, but the heart will offer the truth. I like the background music in this game. Yeah, I mean, I did too. We just, uh, 
turned off the in-game background music because of editing purposes. Right now, the background music you're hearing is from Hollow Knight. I think your time with the Emperor grieves you. No kidding. What caused you to last shed a tear never happened. So be it. The second question. What is your unspoken desire? An unfamiliar presence caresses the deepest layers of your mind. You realize she's trying to detect your thoughts. The I missed the mind flay, Ussi. What happened? What I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to think about it. Drop the act. You're not here to help. You're trying to dig around in my thoughts. This is the most effective way of helping. Besides, you are not above slipping into another's mind. I saw for myself. But let us spare the pretense. It seems you and I have more to speak of than your heart's struggles. For the record, you have a false heart. What the heck? What BM? I'm not paying for this. I want my money back. I am Viconia Devere. Viconia? It's pronounced Viconia? I've been saying Viconia for the past like five playthroughs. Damn, that woman's skin is dry as hell. Better help be like. That's a good one. I like that one. Did you see like the stumbling she did as she tried to go invisible there? Oh, right. This is not an actual staircase. This is a, a door. She says you have a false heart in the same way Var calls you maidenless. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's pop on our, our Wii helmet. It's not Viconia. No, I've always... I mean, I, I've always said Viconia. You've said Viconia. Apparently, it's Viconia. Who knows? Low tier Vi Viconia, yeah. <laughs> you should love yourself now. Okay, let's do a, a little quick save. Um, I definitely think this is going to be a going in with sanctuary style fight. So let's do that. Let us Sanctuary, Resistance, and have a chat with Viconia. You and I need to speak. Char would unironically do the low tier god speech? Oh, for real. Yeah, no kidding. We already spoke while well, you tried to and poke about in my thoughts. One that allowed me to seek out your true intentions. The house of grief attracts all manner of people, but only some have value. Their entry fee is a thousand gold, because look at that architecture. Dude, no wonder they are poor. Yeah, I guess that's why they had 13 gold up front. It just goes all straight into the this beautiful architecture. Have you been drinking water? This fight is hard. I will do that right now. cultists and Githyanki alike. And, of course, the artifact. Let me guess. You His want it. does not concern me. Its power does. I have been awaiting word of this item for some time. Ever since I dispatched a cadre of Lady I... children to retrieve it. I think if we can get a really good mind blast, this fight is going to be a lot easier. No um, I felt but it really depends on that. Depends on how they mind. save against it. And with it... See, that's one thing, one reason why I might want to buff up my wisdom saves. Once with, with, like, with the mirror, or not my wisdom saves, but my wisdom, my spell save DC with my wisdom. Uh, to make like mind blasts and stuff like that a little bit more consistent, but we don't really use that stuff a lot. Like We use it like once in a fight and then it's kind of done, you know? You can invis out, reset fight, and herd them with minor illusion. I could, but I kind of just like taking on the fights, just like in the fight, you know? It's staying with me. 
A bold claim, given your current circumstances. I have not assembled my forces here just to spectate. That's exactly what they're gonna do. I got sanctuary on, lady. Perhaps we can find without Shart, you gotta fight them all regardless. True. Yeah, there's no talking your way out of this without Shart. I mean, you can talk your way into being like, uh, let's avoid fighting right this instant, but they never like really ally with you. There's nothing to discuss. Evil Shart makes this fight a lot easier. How so? Reject me, and your journey ends here. My solo is pure Sork, no multiclass, didn't have Sanctuary. Yeah, that's that's fair. Minor Illusion is a barrel man seat subcategory. I don't know if I agree with that, but it it is pretty wild. We'll we'll go for the intimidation. Wait, once again. Intimidation doesn't get uh, favorable beginnings. That's so weird. Yeah, well, we'll, tr we'll try to go for intimidation anyways. I guess we might as well go for guidance. Like, we lose concentration on a resistance, but we're not going to be making saves on the first turn anyways, I don't think. Well, we might be. We might be. Yeah, I don't really care about this anyways. If it succeeds, they just like are like, oh, you're right, we're not going to fight, but I want to fight them. We shall see. If you pass the checks, you basically just fight two to five enemies with the rest on your side. Interesting. I am Lady Shah's instrument. <laughs> you cannot win. I might not be able to win. Ah, I forgot to use an elixir of necrotic resistance. Do I have one? I do, thank god. Okay, we'll just do that on our first turn and, and pass the round. It'll give them more time to, to, to gather around anyways. Um, necrotic resistance. All right, folks, gather around. Let's do a big old group hug. Any way else I want to prep? I think I'm okay. Calling minor illusion that ma that makes it dangerously close to the you are playing the game wrong mindset. Yeah, I, I, I think it's important to just, like, let other people play the game they want to. Uh, I don't think Minor Illusion is as big of a deal as Barrelmancy in terms of how it changes how you play. Uh, I can see why, at least as a viewer, if you're not, you know, if you don't like watching somebody do Barrelmancy, I can, I can definitely see how that would affect your enjoyment of it. And likewise with Minor Illusion, but I just feel like Minor Illusion is... It feels a lot more, I guess, intentional than Barrelmancy. For instance, you have ingested so many tadpoles, mind telling me how they taste? Are they squishy? I'd imagine they're pretty squishy. Juicy, too, you know? But, like, really, like, a bad juice, like, salty and, like, Icarus. Ic Ic Icarus? You know? Like Icar? They're not really gathering around that much. Uh, I think they're waiting for our sanctuary to wear off. In which case... I think we're just gonna go up here. And lure them into this little hallway. Because then, like, that's, like, this is, like, primo mind blast territory, right? Um, so we'll start by going up here. And I think we're gonna break our sanctuary this turn. So that we can get everybody following us. We're gonna kill Tilda. Nah, we're gonna kill Dolly. I don't like the name Dolly. Sorry to all my fans named Dolly out there. Okay, that is Dolly dead. And then we'll do this. We'll dash. We're flying up here. Alright, come get me, folks. Did you proc Astral Knowledge before going in? I don't see why I would. I don't really want to get Bone Chilled, but it's probably not going to hit us anyways. It got hit us. It hit, hit, it hit us. <laughs> oh, no. 
And they do not have a terribly high chance to hit from low ground. I mean, we were gonna get bone chilled anyways. It's a professional dolly, I'm offended. I'm finally here, BBG BBGs. How's it going, Robin? Good to have you here. Yeah, there is a Venterim dude who's... <laughs> I might just cast Psionic Dominance just to get this to stop popping up, honestly. We'll do it next round so that we have a chance to reduce our bone chill odds. Does Bone Chill stop temp HP? I don't remember. It shouldn't. I believe it only stops healing. Thank you. I see a lot of people forgot to like. Is that true? Did you all not like the stream? My goodness. Also, while we're talking about doing stuff like that, you should join our Discord server. There's a link in the description. It's cool. We hang out. Last night, we played music in a voice channel together. It was cute. Hmm. I'll Psionic Backlash that. 48 damage. Good lord. That woman does not stand a chance. Sorry, ooh, ooh, I just like that. You're forgiven. You're forgiven. If you know African countries, join us in the doles. True. We do the doles sometimes um, in our stream as well. Did we just lose Bone Chill? No, it just... It just did a little cross out thing. I think this is good enough to do a mind blast on, if I'm being honest with you. We could black hole, hold these guys nice, nice and then we could wait a, another turn. I think these three being here blocks scarier people from getting up to us, like this guy. Let's. Wait one more round. Instead, let's just go for a stage fright. We'll do stage fright, blast, concentrated. Or we'll do stage fright, blast, resistance. I know stage fright in a mind blast is a little silly. Uh, because when they're stunned, they're not going to be attacking. But this just helps us survive for that next turn a little bit more, you know? And then once we take out, like, or once we get a good Mind Blast off, then we're a lot less worried anyways. We're not going to need uh, Stage Fright as much, so I I'm okay with doing this. Even if the order is a little suboptimal, we'll do a Stage Fright. Get almost all of them. We will blast Viconia. Then we'll go ahead and Resisto. Uh, yeah, I guess they can jump, too. But that's okay. That's why we got a uh, stage fright going. I'm going to use a psionic dominance, too. We'll just stop that right there. And then we don't have psionic dominance popping up all the time, too. Truant shouldn't have used stage fright as it weakened their character, hindering their potential impact in critical situations. I don't follow. <laughs> Just blast them, they'll die in two hours anyways. Like, like, sea blast them. What gear are you using? Uh, I'll go over it after this fight, if you remind me. Maybe I should have moved up the stairs a little bit more. I was expecting them to, to keep grouping in. Those guys didn't even bother. Nice invisibility, Viconia. Of all the silly Latin spell verbal components, Resisto is the silliest. It is kind of funny. Resisto! Okay, hopefully we can get a good enough black hole to get, like, get these guys on the edges, too. Yeah, it looks like it. That should be good enough. Yeah. Looks pretty good to me. Okay. Pull them all. Whee. 
with a lot of slowed boys. Mind blast! That was pretty nice. I liked that. And they also got hit by fairy fire, I think. Some of them did. I don't know. There's a lot of saving throws for it. All those concentration saves we had to make. That was a pretty nice mind blast. I liked that. And then we're just gonna... Resisto. As the kids say. Move up a little further. That felt good to watch. That felt good to do. Yeah, I liked that. The only mind blast worth moaning to. So true. Look at that slow guy walk. As a kid, I can confirm we do not say resisto. I don't believe you. Oh, we got bone chilled. Death awaits you, loser. This guy's ambitious. Okay, um... Do we have any other big means of damage? We have, like, Repulsor. That's not really a big means of damage so much as it is just an AoE means of damage. Um... We could Displacer Beast to start wreaking Carnage just for, like, a turn or two. I don't hate that idea. But I do kind of want to kill Viconia. Hmm. Let's keep black holding while we can. Just keep him slowed. And then maybe once black hole runs out, we'll use Displacer Beast. I really appreciate the art channel in the Discord. It's so cool. I, I really like the art channel too, yeah. Yeah, we'll just keep black holing for the next few turns, I think. Just keep slowing them down. And try and blast away at Mother Superior of Shar herself. She was not steeped in bliss. That is my fault. I forget that the area on it is kind of small. We'll just go up like a little bit. I don't think they'll be able to reach us up here. Blazer Beast should death count as usable. Oh, it is usable. Yeah, it's allowed in our challenge. We're getting hit by, like, every bone chill, which is a little upsetting. I mean, the odds of one of them hitting us each round isn't too low. But the odds of, like, all of them hitting us, especially from low ground, like... Okay. Sanctuary into Angelic Reprieve, maybe? I mean, we could do that. I really don't think we need to. That is a funny combo, though, that I have never thought of before. We might end up doing that in the, uh, in the Raphael fight. Look at him slowly approaching us. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to wait a turn to kill her. If, there's, if you like mods, there's one that can give you items to use in Displacer Beast form. It's pretty fun. I, I'm i not too interested in playing with mods for now. I do want to do like a heavily modded run at some point, but I'm thinking it's going to be more of like joke mods and stuff. You know, get like the handsome Zevlor mod, the, the, the big ass booty Gortash mod, stuff like that. And just like do a, play, a regular playthrough in a, in a very strange modded world. Uh, What if we... What if we go for this? Did Viconia reveal herself there? Nah, she's still invisible. I could just like fly in here and repulse her and just, just blow up at least some of these guys. It'll kill this guy. It'll kill Frederick. And Donna. Maybe some others. 
But then there's we'll likely get attacked of opportunity like a ton. But it does seem pretty fun. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Why not? Rebind your pinky to like right all. I, I know we can do that work around, but I mean, just being able to know where v Viconia is does not matter for this build. Uh, because concentrated blast, you can only target visible people. Why haven't you sold your spell scrolls? Don't really need money. Like, I'm not gonna go sell them every single time we pick them up. I've sold them a few times, but just when we need money. That was pretty nice. I liked that. Let's start doing a little tour of the arena, I think. Actually, no, we'll just keep going up this way. Nah, we'll go this way. Ow. What a couple of rude dudes. And does one of them have sentry? Or sentinel? I guess so. Okay, that'll that'll learn me. Rose subsuming shadow. What the heck? Yeah, a randomizer run would be pretty fun. I'm probably gonna do that as part of like the modded run. Randomizer and then just load it up with a bunch of other weird mods. The lady of Lost shall Can't believe someone hasn't made a handsome mind flare mod though. That is kind of surprising, yeah. Edgy? Subsuming Shadow is pretty edgy. How are you still alive, Viconia? 2 HP. That sounds like well past my call the week threshold, lady. Oh, the last hit of the round. Bone chilled us. Okay. We will... Drop another black hole... I guess we should probably pull these guys away from us so we don't have to worry about attacks of opportunity. Why not? And then we will properly finish off. So there's pretty good odds that we can finish off this guy, and then it'll finish off both Viconia and this other guy. We need to get like 20 damage, which I think is pretty average for us. So let's just go for it. Yeah, there you go. And hey, that's level 10. Is it? Yeah, level 10. It didn't kill this guy, though, actually. Just got Viconia. With the Art Thou Nasty Pants? Yeah, we'll get the Art Thou Nasty Pants, too. You should do the Peter Griffith narrator, narrator mod. That would be a fun one. Yeah, I like that. Will you side with Gortash? Because Orin fight is easy because of the black hole to, to void. Yeah, we're we're siding with Gortash, but I don't think we like it, it's still the full Orin fight because we're not the Dark Urge. So we still need to like kill all of her goons and get rid of her unstoppable stacks and everything. But once her unstoppable stacks are done, we'll get her with the, the black hole, for sure. Can't you pickpocket Gortash's Reflecto Guards for the House of Hope? I'll, I'll check if we see him again. Get a little black hole going. And then we're gonna just blast whoever's closest to us, I guess. Should probably blast this guy, actually. He seems like he might be a bit of a problem. Imagine if Michelle was Dirge, oh god. She'd be unstoppable. But granted, most people are pretty unstoppable as Dirge. Steeped in Bliss? He was steeped in Bliss, yeah. Unless you're just asking what steeped in Bliss was. In which case, it is the aura from the Resonance Stone that you can pick up in Act 2 that makes people vulnerable to psychic damage. Why didn't you go Dirge? Because I think it makes the game just a little too easy if you use all the Dirge stuff. And then I also just like making up my own story, you know? Uh, 
I wonder if Chain CTW would cancel the invis from Dirge Cloak. I'm not sure what CTW is in that context. Oh, call the week. Call the week. Maybe. Who's to say? I know what you mean, though, about a lot of stuff canceling. Why are you only temp hostile? We've killed, like, all of your friends. What's a sad amount of damage? Looks like we are out of black holes. Um, we'll go Displacer Beast next round and just wreak havoc for a few turns. Was Thelonious Monk Fisto the opposite of Dirge? I mean, he... he... If he was smarter, maybe, but he was not a great hero, let's be real. But he really tried. <laughs> Dirge should have a Gortash Romance TBH? I wouldn't hate that. They weren't really friends, more like co-workers. Have you seen the way Gortash talks about Dirge? Actually, what are what are what are this guy's resistances? He's immune to all physical. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy and then we'll displace your beast next turn. These guys give a lot of experience. Let's engage, fly away. When being a hero, it's the thought that counts. It's fine even if Zevlor dies in Monk Fisto's run. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. Zevlor who? She's only temp hostile because she didn't like anyone there and you're doing her a favor. Yeah. She's just waiting for all of her friends to die and then she's just gonna be like, Yeah, I didn't like them anyways. Only immune to the non-magical fizz, by the way. Does Displacer Beast steal magical fizz? I tolerated Orin, but I liked you, Gortash to Dirge. Yeah, like, that's... They love each other. They want to smooch. Okay. Displacer Beast time. Let's start by killing this guy. That guy's dead. Um... And then you can come... Me... We'll provoke this attack of opportunity. You can come with me over here. And you can die. And you can die. My goodness, you guys take everything out of context. Well, there goes that Displacer Beast. Displacer Beast form is pretty sick. Um, at least when you don't have like 80 enemies attacking you all at once. Because then it does not last long. I mean, they, they one-shot that Displacer Beast over there. I guess I probably could have killed that guy this turn. We'll kill him next turn. We actually might be able to kill him this turn too. We can double displace, which is a really cool thing to be able to do. Here, we'll just teleport him to our other displacer beast. Ow. Resistance. Okay, I guess we're gonna find out if uh, we can deal physical damage to that guy. I don't think we can. I really doubt this counts as magical. We can at least do psychic damage to him. But let's see. Yeah, he is immune. Alright. We're going places, you and me. We're just gonna teleport him around until he dies. And we'll whack him one more time for good measure. We are almost done for, after one turn from one guy. 
Get displaced, bozo. Come into the displacer beast pit. Ow. Ow. Sad we didn't get to finish it with this Blazer Beast, but hey, that's still a pretty good fight. Owl Talon versus six cats, who wins? I think we just found out. Let's go get our new shield! I'm honestly kind of amazed by how powerful we are. Vaconia's Walking Fortress. Pretty good. Another plus one to our AC. We have advantage on saving throws against spells. Spell attack rolls against us have disadvantage. We get Reflective Shell, which is pretty cool. It's uh, all around pretty good. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Don't forget the Dementia Rock. Yeah, we'll do the Dementia Rock too. Is that the best shield in the game? I certainly think so, yeah. You said you'd tell me what gear you use. I, I did say that, yeah. And a perfect time as we throw on some new gear. So, let's go over what we got real quick. We got the Helm of Baldurin for our helmet. Uh, heals us, gives bonus to AC, saving throws, crit immunity, stun immunity. Pretty cool. Cloak of Protection, classic. Reaper's Embrace. If we were doing a good playthrough, obviously we'd go for Armor Persistence, but we're not. So, damage dead. Uh, we got the Reviving Hands. Whenever we heal a creature, including ourselves, we gain Blade Ward which, combined with our Ring of Regen, gives it to us at the start of every turn. Combined with our Periaptive Wound Closure, we're healing for a lot, especially when we use potions and stuff like that. We have Callous Glow Ring to deal extra damage. This is the only damage writer that really helps our Concentrated Blast. Um, we've got the Vital Conduit Boots. Whenever we cast a spell that requires Concentration, which is pretty much every turn, we gain 8 temp HP, which, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, especially combined with BPS resistance and all of our damage reduction from Heavy Armor Master and our actual armor. And our Defender Flail, which reduces BPS damage by 1. Also gives a plus 1 to our AC. Vaconia's Walking Fortress, you saw us just pick it up. Pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, Periaptive Wound Closure. In our bow slot, we have the Hellrider Longbow for plus 3 to initiative rolls. Because why not, you know? Would Armor of Agility be better? If we had a higher dex score, but we don't, so no. Would Raphael's armor be better than Reaper's Embrace? It would be, yes. We are going to go ahead and throw on Raphael's armor once we beat him. But that's probably going to be the last thing we do in this act before the brain. Yeah, we also wouldn't get the heavy armor master feat if we were using the armor of agility. Let's get rid of all this stuff we don't need anymore. I'm keeping the Club of Hill Giant Strength on us, like, just, just in case kind of thing, you know? Uh, and then we're also gonna level up. The Strength Gloves and Con Necklace might be better, too. I hard disagree on the Strength Gloves. Strength does nothing for us. Uh, con Necklace, maybe. But I really liked the Periaptive Wound Closure on this build. Um, we might throw on the Con Necklace for the Raphael fight, depending on how much damage he deals to us. But either way, for now, we're going to level up. Uh, I think for this level, we are just, for the rest of the run, actually, we're just going to go into Cleric. It gives us another feat at the very end, which is nice to have. Uh, and the only other class that I can consider worth a dip in is level 1 in Fighter to give us plus 1 to our AC. But I don't think it really matters at this point. Khan might be better, but I think it's only going to be better in the Raphael fight. Uh, it just kind of depends on how much damage he can deal to us. Because right now, enemies just don't deal enough damage to us to matter. We didn't use a single potion in that fight. We had like 80 guys attacking us. It's just not going to happen. 
Fire resist bow would be nice for Raphael. Two points to that. We can't get the fire resist bow because Damon died in Act 1 because we raided the grove. Uh, second point, Raphael ignores resistance. So, it really wouldn't be that helpful for him. What does the fourth level in Rogue give? A feat. We got Shield Master. Uh, which I was told helps with the Raphael fight, uh, as well as it helped with the Onster fight quite a bit. And I kind of wanted to try a less taken feat. Uh, but yeah, this level, we don't get a ton. Really not much changes for us. Our prepared spells are all shuffled about again for some reason. Get the cloak that makes you wet for fire resistance. Once again, fire resistance does not matter against Raphael. He ignores it. Either way, this is our level up. We don't really need to pick up older stuff if it's just going to mostly be junk. We got a second channel divinity charge at that level, which is kind of nice, I suppose. Uh, let's reorganize our spells, because um, we can't use like most of these. We might as well have spells that we can use. Mm. I don't think that'll ever be useful, but like, why not? This is probably going to be pretty good against the, the Kazador fight, right? Protection from poison. Alright. Good enough. Go to the beach that makes you old. I don't want to go to the beach that makes me old. Oh yeah, we gotta sacrifice stuff here. Da, da, da. Okay, what are we sacrificing? It needs to be like a thousand gold worth of stuff, right? Okay, well, we can sacrifice that. Shouldn't have sent away all the heavy stuff. Uh, sacrifice this. We can sacrifice this. How much gold do we have? Can sack our gold? There you go. Good enough. I wasn't doing the math there. That's probably pretty close. Those prisoners. What's been done to them? Who cares? Protection from good and evil would be good too. Not really. It's a concentration spell. We kind of break concentration pretty often. Okay, um, so we don't have the headband of intellect. I just never got it from the... The the ogres? Are they ogres? Trolls? I don't know. The guys in Act 1. Don't forget Shard's Diary. You're right. I always forget Shard's Diary. We'll do Shard's Diary, and then we will do that. Aid for more HP. Yeah, we might as well throw aid on. Oh, we already have aid, yeah. I guess I should start doing aid for more HP, just in general. Like, there's no reason for us not to. We don't really use our spell slots, eno spell slots enough to, uh, to worry about it. Why not, you know? Is it through the armory that we go to Shard's Diary? It is. Okay, I'm going to save here because I think this relies on a passive perception check. You do not have to read the diary first. Uh, it just helps you skip the, the first check. The hastily written note is what we're going for.
Okay. And that should have us good. Hi there, New Zephyr. How's it going? Also, what's your Splatfest team going to be? I'm probably team keyboard, pro partly because of the instrument and partly because of large adult male. Did you just refer to big man as a large adult male? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Either way, um, we're going to do the, the mirror of loss here. I think... I think... We're actually going to buff our constitution. I'm pretty content with where our spell save DC is at, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, and loot the bodies. One of them has the key. What key? We're in. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm pretty content with where our spell save DC is at, if I'm being honest. Like... Obviously, it would it would be nice if Mind Blast works like more guaranteed, but I'm not stressing it. Uh, and having more health, like having more Constitution, would be pretty nice, just so we could keep on the Periaptive Wound Closure in the Raphael fight. We could still buff Wisdom for saving throws, yeah, but our our saving throws are also like really high too. I'm pretty okay with, with Wisdom being at 18. You don't actually have to sacrifice anything because there's a key on Lamona. Good good to know for the future. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to go for Wisdom, or not Wisdom, Constitution. Huge polished disc I really love this shot, by the way. One used by the Sharans to plunder memories from the minds of others. Big man, large adult man, or abnormally sized mature boy. Let's go with abnormally sized mature boy. When did I become a dark justicier? When did that happen? Is it because I killed the night song? Okay, before we continue, we're gonna we're gonna be right back. Actually, I really need to go to the washroom. Un momento. Okay, we're back. Thank you all for waiting. My goodness. You were able to kill her? Well, we... Uh, I mean, we didn't really kill her like in the in the Act 2 way, because uh, you can't do that without Shadowheart, but we killed her in Act 3. So I, you know... I think maybe that's what made us a Dark Justice here. 
So we might as well do the Dark Justice Year option. And we'll do a quick save beforehand too. Uh, we'll use our Astral Knowledge. Uh, actually, can I back out of this? Okay, well, I need to use Guidance first, but it's not going to let us, I don't think. Yeah, it's only one or the other, because I didn't do it beforehand. Did I, please tell me I saved beforehand. Oh, saved back there. Okay, we'll see how these inspirations treat us, and then worst case, we might just go back. How do you kill her in Act 3? Leroican? Yeah, we did it with, with Leroican. We turned her into Leroican. What chat is the poll for next playthrough? Uh, there's just an actual poll in the community tab of my channel. Your prayers fade away into the nothingness of the mirror. Unacknowledged. Wait, what if we do this then? We, oh, we just need to make... What? We wait. What happens if we do this? Do you have the plus one religion ring? I actually think I think I do. Yeah. Yeah. What happens if 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 I do this? I don't think I've ever tried tricking it before. There you go. False memories of an imagined battle in the astral plane are accepted and taken from your mind. A foreign sensation assails you. For a moment, you do not feel like you. So we don't get to choose what memory we do, right? Memories clamor for your attention. Yeah. Okay. They range from ancient to new, but none are yours. You can just remove cor curse and then try again. I think I'll give it a whirl. Yeah. Of the mirror has no interest in you. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant. Its hunger sated. Fabrable Beginnings would help if you want a long rest. I don't think Fabrable Beginnings is a once per long rest thing. It's like a once per creature thing. Okay, well that didn't work. Uh, we'll reload the old save. And cast Guidance beforehand. Just to make it so that we have a chance to succeed on something that's not an at 20. Dastardly dumb deals at demonic prices when? Uh, I mean, probably our next run. Pact of the Fiend Warlock and use the Crab Familiar only? That's a hell of a challenge. I did update the bingo card with a bunch of new options for today. Hold up, let me get the bingo card ready then. Hold up. The truant bingo. Copy message link. In case you guys want to play truant bingo. Oops, that's that's the, the wrong thing. It's the Discord link. Uh, hold up, give me a second. Ignore that, ignore that. You don't you guys don't need to see that. There you go. This, true and bingo. <laughs> okay. These boots have seen everything. Right, let's do this. I need to redo this on my current run. Wasn't paying attention to let Vicky live. Rookie mistake. It's okay. It happens. Also throwing guidance helps perception checks. True. I should have done it before we walked into that area. Easterly written note. Don't mind if I read. And I guess we'll read that too, just in case it matters. Uh, we'll use astral knowledge, intelligence. Easy peasy. And then we will head back towards the mirror. He just advertised the server and gave us the bingo card. I mean, that's where the bingo card came from. It came from our wonderful Bunny Warren over on the Discord server. 
We have a bunch of neat little fun stuff going on in the community from time to time. Would highly recommend joining. If you want, there's a link in the description. Oh, yeah. All right, just chugging some agua. Draw on guidance, just in case we need to do something else in the midst of all this. Make a fight go past 50 rounds. I need it for bingo, please. I beg of thee, grant me mine wish. I don't I don't think there's another fight that's going to really take us that long. Maybe, maybe Kazador? Maybe Raphael, but that won't... I don't, I don't, Raphael definitely won't happen this stream. 24... Ah, I forgot to put on the religion ring and it immediately bit me in the ass. <laughs> 23? Oh, no. <laughs> no, another 23. Imagine if it was all 24s. Okay, and I please tell me I saved. Can I not save? Gotta save. Your prayers fade away <gasps> the... oh, I forgot to save. Okay, hold up. One more time. One more time, guys. One more time. I swear to God, I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, good lord. The Sisyphean mirror, yeah. Oh my goodness, where are my brain cells at today? They are gone, gone. Mirror of no, I'm not gonna say that. You almost, you almost got me there. I'm not gonna say that. You can't trick me. I won't do it again. You can't make me. Okay, we'll throw on the ring if we have it. Arcana and religion. I mean, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Cast guidance on ourselves here to help with the perception check. No traps, please. How much farther can I go? Do you even need to succeed on this? You do. Because if you don't, you can't get in. Can we misty step in? No. Okay, game. I think if we quick load it'll just take us back to that other save so that was a good example that was a good answer to that question at least you can fly over it no way that's huge that's good knowledge my gifted membership ends today oh that's a bummer that's okay it was nice to have you as a member while it lasted. Have to keep going. Okay. We'll just get past this. Fly. You can fly over it. That's wild. I just assumed that was like a like a full wall. Throw the ring back on. Which ring is it? None of these rings is not. A, it doesn't have a ring in the name. It is Mage's friend. That's wild. That's some. That's some good info. Just confirmed that Halson is still bugged. How is Halson bugged? Okay, I will quick save here so that we at least don't have to do that again if I forget to quick save in front of the mirror, but I probably won't. You know, fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, extra shame on me. Okay, and we'll use Arcane Knowledge Intelligence. Then we'll cast Guidance. And then we'll talk to the mirror. 
We'll quick save. And then we'll talk to the mirror. A huge polished disc looms before you. A mirror. One they said they fix his dialogue so that he, that he doesn't consider being nice as flirting. Is that, is that a bug then? Or did something go ter terribly wrong? Bummer. Random question for solo experts out here. Does Periop plus healing stabilize you if you have a minion of some sort in your party? Good question. I have no idea. We'll get this one day. One day indeed. Dave, I'm pretty sure I did. I sure hope I did. The Uptowson standards. You love rolling 21. You can't stop me from rolling 21s. I need a patch to up my standards. That would be sick. Okay, this time for sure. I'm feeling it. If only that was a crit 20. Uh, I just assumed Alzen was DDF given his upbringing. What was his upbringing? Hey, there you go. That's the crit 20. You feel a presence, dark and ancient. It approves of your fealty. But I didn't pick those and he still came on to me. Oh no. His standards weren't upped. The mirror's emptiness seems to draw you into a stupefying embrace. Your thoughts, feelings, memories, they grow slow and drowsy, drifting away from each other. He did reject that and female bear, though. I, um, sometimes I'm glad I haven't played with Halson in my party. What is that man up to? Uh, we'll offer up our strength, because why not? Something precious was surrendered. Already you cannot recall its exact nature, but you feel its loss all the same. Still though, for whatever was lost... I'm desperately trying to romance Halson right now. How are you doing it accidentally? <laughs> ancient and unknowable. It has taken notice of you. Apparently you gotta pick the, the non-flirty options. He's into the, the, the cold shoulder, I guess. Thought you'd sacrifice your memory of that time with the Emperor? Was that an option? Once the mirror showed nothing, there is now something. Memories, experiences, skills, all prized from the minds of others, and now offered to you to choose from. Um, yeah, we're going to go with Constitution. I think it's just the play. And then that way we can keep on our perioptive wound closure without losing it on too much extra HP against Raphael. Because I really like having perioptive wound closure, especially against Raphael. As long as we can survive his big hits, just being able to heal up is really, really nice. The cold bites, but you laugh and bare your chest. Can't you get rid of the debuff by doing Cure Curse or something? Yeah, you can. Hey, Leo, how's it going? You did miss the Emperor romance. It was horrendous. I was away. Did you get to smooch the tentacle yet? Yeah, yeah, it's done. It's all done. Where's my remove curse? I could have sworn I prepared it. Oh, there it is. There you go. We are cured. If not over, okay. Did the tango already happen? Yeah, the tentacle tango already happened. I'm sorry. Will you become full squid in the final fight? Yes, ma'am. It'd be cool if you could play as goblins. I agree. What buff does that give you? The one that we chose? Constitution. Barbarian's memory. Got 103 max HP with with aid. 
Uh, let's get out of here then. I think we're like pretty set to do Orin, honestly. Like we just need to, to get to her. So let's start doing that stuff. We'll take a short rest to get our junk back. Actually, somebody said that we can deal with the assassin at like the wine place if we use psionic dominance to stop him from getting away. So it might be another long rest. As annoying as that is. Let's head to buy some food real quick then. And then let's try and do that. I think the mirror was too traumatized to take the Emperor Romance memory from you. Bro, oh, from... yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it... I wouldn't blame it. I wouldn't blame it. Can you just steal the bag of hands? I don't know. Can we? This is the wine place, by the way, right? Either way, we'll... we'll, we'll I kind of want to see if we can stop him from getting away. That would be fun. Have you played the game normally with companions? No, I haven't. I'm a lone wolf only. Oh, but we don't have any gold. <laughs> we have like literally no gold. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Yeah, let's get rid of some of our junk. Let's get rid of our scrolls. Can't banish people. Can't chromatic or people. Wait, these circles of death sell for a lot, huh? Okay. How do you sort by value? Does it sort his stuff by value? Okay, it's down here now. Is there a way to auto-select the max amount? So I don't have to, like, manually click? Companions, what are those? Haven't the faintest idea. I wonder if you can pickpocket the bag of hands from him. I'm kind of curious, too. Um... But I'm kind of curious about if we can stop him as well. So we're going to try stopping him first. If you steal the bag of hands, don't you still need the note with the passphrase as well? True, we do. Yeah. How do we get the passphrase? If you drag the stack, I believe it moves it all. True. Look at that. Yeah. Fill your boots, mate. He has a scroll on him. Like the, the assassin has the note on him. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a long rest. Now this random bartender has insanely powerful spells. Yeah, somebody gets in his way, starts a bar fight or something. Hit you with the scroll of dethrone. It's tricky, but it's possible I've stole the bag from him. Just greater invis. Eh, it's fine. We'll fight him. I don't think we're that great at, at sleight of hand anyways. Well, there's once to chat, yo. He's been wanting to chat since Act 1. We just have not talked to him. He's going to have to keep wanting to chat. Open bag in your inventory and drag all stuff from merchant in it. Enjoy. I know we could do that, but I don't really like abusing uh, gold bugs and stuff like that. Are we doing Gortash or have we already? Uh, Gortash is going to be our ally for this run. Eight up. True. No reason not to. How long does this last? Two turns? That would be nice for the Raphael fight. Okay. Mm, we'll cast Light too. I'm going to remember to do that. Okay. 
Gort ally, <laughs> yeah. 15 bottles of liquor and an orange. A balanced diet. Scrumptious, honestly. Okay. Something's supposed to happen here. None of these people are real. How do I get this fight to start? Do I need to talk to Valyria in order for this assassin to show up? You need to do solve the murder? Oh my goodness. I could have sworn I didn't do that in my first playthrough. I did go to the, the, the house that was broken into. And the guy died... The, or like the guy was assassinated. And then I think I got that quest, and then I think the assassin showed up. I want to see if that, that does work. You need to at least have read the list of names. Okay, yeah. So then we should be able to go to that one house, wherever it is. Which I I could swear is somewhere around here. Maybe. We killing Zeravok? We're probably not going to kill Zeravok. No, we're just going to join the uh, join the baddies. It is an evil run after all. Where is this house that I'm thinking of? God, the city's massive. I wish the camera would work with me a little here. Got me on a leash. Maybe it's somewhere down here? At this point, maybe it would be faster to just solve the freaking murder. Or at least go to his room. We could probably just do that. That house is southeast of Sorceress Sundries. Okay. Thank you. Preemptive F in chat for Holy Dumbo. Yeah, we're gonna mess him up. What house are you looking for? The one with the assassination victim. Were we, like, right next to it to start with? Oh, it's right here. We were literally standing next to it. Good lord. That is upsetting. Okay. I don't know if anybody's gonna get mad at us for breaking this, but we'll see. Doesn't look like it. Excuse me. Okay, thank you, Doris. Is it this piece of paper? The blood-stained parchment? Yeah. And now, hopefully, we can just go to the, the wine place. And then he should be there. Fingers crossed. Hey, Rune. How's it going? I didn't even know about this one. Yeah, quicker than doing the whole... Valyria questline. Only Flaming Fist get mad at you, I think, as someone who's had this happen while breaking into the Doomstone shop. Yeah, look, this place is bustling now. There he is. Okay. Let's give this a whirl. Uh, might as well cast Resistance first. Alright, let's go. This guy is like so obviously an assassin. Look at him. Look at him. Not going too well. Woke up inexplicably sad and went for a walk for some fresh air. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. I hope the walk was good. Uh, what's been done so far? We did the Volo fight. We did the Yelf Song Tavern fight. 
we slept with the Emperor, uh, and then we did the Viconia fight, the House of Grief fight. I would love a glass, Master Metzid. Is this like, is he gonna poison us? I'm kind of just interested. Roger kind of looks like old dwarf Asterian. Yeah, the hairdo is, is very similar. I miss the M-Sex. Did you have him return to his guardian form? No, you did not. We did not. House of Grief fight must have gone quick. It, it was pretty fast for us, actually. Oh, we got paralyzed. Oh, we did get poisoned. Oh, that sucks so much. I kind of wanted to reload the save to... Uh, not get paralyzed. I kind of figured it would happen, but I don't know. The emphasis on love kind of made, got me thinking when it was like sarcastic. What is even happening? Are we just going to be paralyzed forever? Just reload. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna reload. I mean, they literally can't kill us. It'll be fine. We'll reload. We'll see what happens. Breaking in suspicious man was a serial killer. I know. Shocking, right? Yeah, I just don't really like reloading when we're in a fight. Just in case something goes horribly wrong and it might end up in a death, you know? I don't want to, like, cheese the statistics at the end of the act or anything. But uh, that, there's no way that was resulting in a death. So we're just going to reload. Man in jumpsuit with multiple very murdery looking knives just out in the open is a murderer. I know, that's, that's pure shocking. Wagyu, Wagyu, I feel you, Sakura. I don't really care about her life, but we'll decline and then hope that works, yeah? I actually didn't realize he was a murderer in my first run. I'm worse than a Baldur's Gate citizen. <laughs> oh no. Wait, wait, what the? It didn't trigger initiative. He's just gone. What the heck? Okay, hold up. Do we need to be in, in a fight? Like, do I need to, to warn her? Okay, we'll warn her. Man whose name means grief and has a skull nose ring is a murderer. Who knew? I thought the lore just straight up meant... Pain, or is that is not his name? His name is Metsi? Is the Lord the name of his weapon? Yeah, if you want to trigger it, you need to warn her. Bummer! We have to save a life. What a pain. Or at least warn her. Good luck trying to beat his initiative. I'm not really trying to beat his initiative. I'm just trying to psionic dominance his dimension door. His actual name is Delore? Alright, a serial killer's after it. Doesn't suit a goth. Do doesn't suit a goth. Doesn't suit a gith. Yeah, well, it's not just we're a gith. It's also we're an evil gith. Specifically, a murderous evil gith. Did you know you can follow Red Dwarf's lips and get hands from remaining folk yourself? Yeah, I'm aware. That's what I did on my first playthrough, actually. Um, 
I just don't want to go through all that time to like track people down and stuff. You could just do it right here, man. Get it over with. Tango with me. Come on. Okay, I guess we just don't get to use psionic dominance. Why not? It's level 5. Need to turn that off. Oh, we got paralyzed. Okay, we'll do it the old-fashioned way then. Maybe they made it level 5 specifically for psionic dominance purposes? Because I'm sure the actual spell is level 4, right? He has a unique dimension door that can't be countered. Interesting. Is 26 AC and 12 arcane war charges a decent amount? Do you really expect people to say no to that? <laughs> if you want to get him here, you need alert feed. Why do you need to go before him to use a reaction? Even counterspell in, at 5th level and 6th level do nothing? Yeah, I believe Rune here. More than just, for some reason, going first is required in this fight. I've used Counterspell, I just think think just Psionic Dominus doesn't work. Okay. I, be I believe that, actually. I believe that most. They're just roaring, yeah, because they can't actually damage us. Hopefully this doesn't, like, hurt people nearby, like, good guys nearby. No, yeah, we're good. I feel like I killed him here, but I opened with Hold Person before talking. Yeah, I mean, whole person would probably do it too. Oh well. We'll just head to the... The die shop after this and he should be there, right? Oh, also... So this is why level 6 Life Cleric is so good. In case you guys are wondering why we're healing so much, the 6th level Life Cleric feature works on both our helmet and our ring. So we're healing an extra 6 hit points at the start of each turn. We are now healing, healing 12 hit points every turn. Where do you bind abilities? I could never find it in settings. If you pull them into the custom heart bar, like every like second option is going to automatically be associated with your uh, number keys. That's so OP. It is really OP. Yeah, it's pretty busted. Psionic Dominance checks your proficiency bonus for spell level? It does, yeah. Just realize what a tough cookie Michelle is. 103 HP and a lot of healing at the beginning of each turn is pretty good. Yeah, we heal 12 HP every turn. We gain 8 temp HP every turn. We have BPS resistance. We're just... We're borderline unkillable. No hold person doesn't work either. You have no clue how stupid and railroaded this encounter is. He will break free and gas dimension door no matter what unless you hit him immediately. Yeah, I mean, I haven't tested it myself, so who knows. Okay. Let's head over to here. Weird, because I'm sure I killed him in the fight, but I can't remember how. I don't know. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't put it past the game to just like for both of you guys to be right, because the game is definitely inconsistent about a lot of things. All right, let's do this fight. Is, is this him? Oi, you! Uh, 
I'm off playing Valheim with a friend, so have fun, y'all. And thanks for being here, Loki. Enjoy Valheim. If the lady survives, she can give you nearly a thousand gold. That's pr that's pretty fun. Why don't you cast Warding Bond on a random NPC for free resistance? That's not really how it works. Uh... Because it's like like they don't take hits for us. It's like we'll take hits for them. I'm pretty sure that's how it works in fifth edition. Maybe they changed it, but we'll, we'll see. This guy is so larpy. He really is. Yeah. Bro, Jill, what the heck? I respect paralyzing your target. Makes the kill easier, but a monologue? Really? A challenger. My lord tests me. Wording bond only works one way in this. Yeah, that's... That's how it, it ought to be. No, don't kill him, please. Um, paralyzing us. We're blinded, too. I'm really not stressing about this fight, though. Uh, like, I know he can do good damage, but I don't think he gives vulnerability. Like, he doesn't have, like, an aura of murder or anything. Between Orin and Dolor, Dolor? Is it the Lord? Dolor? Are all bald devotees just theatrical laugh? I guess so. Oh, he went invisible. Um. When does this recharge? Short rest? Now let's just move out of the darkness. Maybe it'll provoke an attack of opportunity. Nah, he doesn't care. Uh, we'll go ahead and. Black hole, pull them all right right over here. Maybe get a killer mind blast off. Mind blast is long rest, though. We might want to save that for... Eh, is there any other fight we care about? We'll take another long rest before the Orin fight. Well, we don't have to if we don't use mind blast. But this fight's going to take a while if we don't use mind blast. We'll use mind blast. Um, didn't realize how, how our movement was going to work out here. Oh, flies on Zed now. Okay, we can move here. Get a little mind blast going. Where are you at? I didn't bind the ping. I think he's right here. Yeah, he's right there. Eh, we'll dash, take a step back so we can get them all. Mind Blast. Yeah, that's pretty good. Keep in mind you can always do a partial rest. Yeah, I guess so. The Black Hole and Mega Laser combo of Black Hole and a Mind Blast. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty killer. There's not much enemies can do about it. Um... We'll drop a stage fright too. And just keep blasting away on, on the big man himself. Even if they are invisible, they don't move till their next turn, so just mind blast where he was. I mean, I wanted to get everybody else with the mind blast too, though, is the thing. Like, I didn't want to just hit him, which is why I did the black hole pull. We are ambushed. What does that mean? Okay. <laughs> Not much, apparently. Hello, just joined. How's it going, everyone? Doing good, Rebubka. How are you? So, 
miracle he's still alive. Recast black hole. Chill, chill. It's... <laughs> we don't need a backseat every turn. Especially on a fight like this. Like, nothing bad can happen to us in this fight. My god. That has a big heal. Good for you, man. Sorry, I'm new. It's okay. It's okay. It happens. I know there was no ill intent or anything. Most backseaters, I don't think, have ill intent. I'm about to clip. Oh no. I literally don't think they can damage us, like, period, though, is the thing. Yeah, they even refuse to attack us. They, they, they know. It's over. <laughs> it's so over. Maybe I shouldn't black hole just so that they take less time on their turn. Helps you with malicious intent. No. Can we commentate DBZ style? That would be pretty sick. Yeah, I'm okay with that. The casual ass way they walk is so funny. Yeah, whenever anybody's slowed, they just kind of like casually meander. Socks. I'm pretty sure I have a non-binary friend named Socks. Backseaters are kind of annoying, but at least you know they're on your side trying to help you win as much as they can. And that's pretty righteous true. I'm gonna have you choose a mid feet. <laughs> true, Rune, Rune was hitting us with that malicious help. Oh, we saved him. We actually saved him. Good job. A passphrase, Sicarius, and a location. We should find this candle hollow place. Okay. Why does she moan when you see Blast? She just really likes her Illithid powers. She loves it. Gonna go back over here now. My membership is over. Rip Rune. Back to the masses. That's the wrong way. I always do that. Every time. Get some sexy outfits for Michelle. We already did the, the die party, yeah. This is what we ended up with. I think the shield kind of ruins a lot of it, honestly, but we can't we can't die the shield, unfortunately. Mine ends today too. It was nice having all the chat green for a little while, but that's okay. 25 AC, yeah, we're we're pretty decked out. We are not stressing. How close do we to level 11 are we? Not not very close. Maybe I shouldn't have used the the mind blast there. Easy na 20. We get 49 gold and some mellow fruit die. Heck yeah. Alrighty, time to go impress the murder tribunal. A lot of memberships are from the green chat stream, which was an exact month ago, so a lot in today. It's okay. It happens. Vicarious. This challenge run looks so fun. It's honestly a lot of fun. You didn't pick the hands? I got the hands. Handbag. We got them. Don't worry. What is healing you at the start of every turn? Ring of Regen. So it's Ring of Regen, um, plus the Helm of Baldurin, plus our level 6 Cleric feature, which is... 
Blessed Healer, I think. For some reason, it counts them as a level 1 spell. So we, each of them give an extra 3 healing. So we get 12 healing at the start of each turn. Michelle's outfit reminds me of Bartholomew. Is Michelle a fan? They're just both fans of the, the color purple, you know? But, you know, Michelle probably does go through a Bartholomew phase, like, once every couple months, as anybody does. Pop the religion ring back out? Yeah. No worries about that. Okay, let's quick save here. A little resistance. No, oh, Zed's back on jump. No longer on fly. Well from gifts thine own. Fun thing about the Delore daggers, the flat extra damage on critical hits can trigger with multiple damage dice and can trigger with bow attacks. Just nerding out. I know backseating just came up. No, no, that's okay. I don't consider that stuff backseating at all. Uh, just like generic info. What I consider backseating is like, do this. Just like, use this ability right now type of thing. I'm pretty okay with pretty much everything else. I killed to be here, and took the victim's hand as proof. Hand, an offering vile. Enter now the Dreadlord's trial. Use Concentrated Blast in the next fight. You can't make me! We're now gonna get through the next fight without using Concentrated Blast. Stop, home dog. What is happening here? Game? Hello? Uh... What the... Hello? <laughs> it's, it's a private conversation, please. I guess so. Uh, I think we might need to reload a save. You need to not die in this fight. Well, uh, we're not going to do this fight, but in our next fight. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to I'm just going to reload. I'm glad I saved just like right outside. That was an interesting little little soft lock. Oh, rip. Robin's no longer green. It happened fast. This bug had me worried about my honor mode save. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, if that was our honor mode run, that would be, like, hopefully quitting and coming back in would fix it, but my god. Your next fight is against the elephant, true. One day I'll catch a break. You just get ghosted by Saravag. Yeah, he just stares at us. Present me well from gifts thine a grasping hand. I'm An sad, boring gray now. They're there. They're there. Enter now the Dreadlord's trial. Alrighty. Let's enter now the Dreadlord's trial. I'm just gonna click once. Maybe maybe got overzealous with my clicking and it caused the game to break. There you go. Upon murder's progeny. Child. What a hard line. His most ill trusted zealot. Ended up needing to quit the desktop, desktop and relaunch to make the cutscene play. At least, it, at least you fixed it. To do his bidding eternally. No, this city is not your home. This man's infamy is known to you. This place must smell pretty bad. Oh, it must be awful. I feel like a lot of places in this game are probably just horrendous smelling. Hey, Sakira, thanks for the listener to your membership. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for the help, the support. Very nice. Thank you. Lord's tribunal. Can't imagine the smell I in there. Yeah, it's custodian. probably Here awful. Come those who seek to transcend. Welcome, new green person. Green person gang. You also have access to our member chats in this in our discord server which there's a link in the description if you want to join just make sure your YouTube account and discord accounts are linked. We don't chat in there too often, but every now and then we do. Uh, I want to become an unholy assassin. What must I do? A test to prove your worth to Baal. Approach, aspirant. Why does he sound like a Raid Shadow Legends sponsor? 
I can hear it. I am ready to be da judged. Spirit of the slaughtered. We're not. Uh, Michelle's not going to turn down the chance for more power, especially at the cost of murdering people. You know. The truth of this murderer's intent, and let us judge her for her blood. In the old game, he originated from Servak had the same voice as Maurice from Madagascar. That's incredible. If you become an unholy assassin now, you get 200 free gold coins and a legendary character. No way. Now we gotta sign up. I have the faintest idea who that man is. And thus its voice. So, speak for it. How was this pitiable creature slain? I don't know. Um, let's quick save here in case a fight breaks out. With a smile on my face and pleasure in my heart. I think I'm willing to give this advantage. 14 to 70 is pretty good. I'll give it advantage, just in case. Better safe than sorry. Thank God. Thank God. Reverence. Zeal. Long may he reign. Seravok has the same pause speaking rhythm as Obama. Coincidence? Your offering pleases, Lord. He's obviously Obama. Your words delight him. You slaughter well, Aspirant. You are that easy to become a cultist, you just gotta lie. Enter the Steal somebody else's hand of bag of hands and then will. lie. Fix with advantage, yeah, I know. Hey Radu Zam Zambichi, thanks for the listener to your membership. Really re it really honestly is so appreciated. I, uh, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support in every way. Just watching, chatting, hanging out, and of course the memberships. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Alright, time to kill an elephant. Of the, dread Lord's favor. One killing the funniest way to start a fight is just saying wrong, wrong sewers, I'm leaving. <laughs> of a celestial being. Make violence of its goodness. Spill its blood and bathe. I love the way he says blood there. Spill its blood. Civilian, do not listen to this ancient. Hey, thank you, the wandering grasshopper. Really appreciate it. Another listener to your membership. Y'all are, <laughs> y'all are so nice. Thank you, thank you again. I really, I really can't thank you guys enough. Thank you. Spare no violence for the dread lord's grace. And savor every moment of the creature's I like that Saravok lets the elephant keep his pipe for his final moments. It is, yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, we can't do them that indecency. Yo, can you guys keep it down? I'm trying to murder somebody with my mind here. I'm breaking free of the constraints of concentrated blast. I told Bunny I wouldn't use it in the next fight, and I won't. You can't make me. This is what happens when you try and backseat me. I'm unbackseatable. Can we displace him? Can we teleport him over here? Does that do something horrible? Okay, he's still shackled. Thank God. I, for a second, I was worried that was going to like piss Saravog off. This is embarrassing. This is just straight up embarrassing. There you go. That took us far too long. Um, we need to unwild shape. I guess so. Behold, father. How far can you displace him? I was kind of wondering that too. Like, can we just take him or take her and leave? Holy assassin. 
Hey Lou, thanks for the listener to your membership. I I really appreciate it. I I, I can't thank you guys enough. That's <laughs> y'all are y'all are so sweet to me. I, it's so very nice of you guys. Thank you. His thank you so much. Will be done. Honestly, being able to do this and like having you guys support me is a dream come true. It really is. Thank you. I always feel so embarrassed that I can't kill Valyria in one hit. Yeah, it's just so awkward. This scene does go pretty hard. I wish the light on a weapon like didn't look like that, you know? It's very distracting in a lot of cutscenes, at least for me it is. Hey, Maxwell Thunderstone, thank you for the listener to your membership. Thank thank you all of you. This is... Thank you. Thank you so much. Seriously. I imagine Saravok silently judging. He's like, seriously? This is our newest unholy assassin? Is that Hollow Knight music? It is. Yeah, we're jamming to a different OST today. Look at the chain. <laughs> chain is struggling. A lower city pass? Hell yeah. Bear pipe. They let her keep her, her main pipe too. Look at that. It's odd that it still glows in cutscenes because things like daylight temporarily get turned off during cutscenes. Yeah, I wish... I wish it didn't. Or I mean, like, I'm, I wish mm, this also got turned off is what I meant. You have killed well. I'm a simple gal, I hear Hollow Knight music, I press I like, hell yeah, thank you. In life, I was a I okay, alright, a Bazigal, let me see what you got. Do you have anything I care about? Not really. Crawler Mucus is pretty cool, not for this run, but it is pretty cool. Okay, bye. Alright, now we are just gonna head to the sewers, I guess. Because we... Yeah, we're an unholy assassin. We're good to go, right? Yeah? Okay. Let's go track down Orin. Silk song any day now. Any day, Rune. It's gonna happen tomorrow. Silk song didn't happen at the Oscars, so obviously they're saving it for a presidential election. Yeah, exactly. The game does refer to Valyria with they them pronouns at times, so they still find a use if you forgot if you forgot about she her. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I you know, we try our best here. I what sewers are the closest? Is it is it this sewers? Or is it the ones over here somewhere? Eh, I don't know. We got a waypoint right next to this one. Gather your allies? We don't need no allies. Into the manhole we go. We'll take a short rest to get Black Hole back. Can we break down this wall? Time to find out. Please! Force vulnerability. No bludgeoning resistance. We need to deal 20 damage though. 10 damage. We can deal 10 damage, right? Max roll. We'll get it. We'll get it. There you go. As long as it is physically possible, we're just gonna stay here. I guess we could repulse her too. But then I probably shouldn't have short rested right away. Don't worry guys, any second now. Any second now. We'll get it. For sure. This time this time. Alright, next time. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> this time for sure. We got it. There you go. One more. Alright. 
We'll make this go a little bit faster. Surely this... Wait, this is 5 to 8, even though our strength is higher? Okay, that's impossible. Back to this. Alright, this time for sure. Yeah, they, they, there you go. I told you, that time for sure. <laughs> Break distrust. Me when I gamble, yeah. <laughs> Clubs do 1d4 damage. Yeah, that was an upsetting discovery. Um, is it this way? I think it's this way. There's some sewer dudes for us to fight. Hope. Oh. This one is an ally of our lady in red. Orin spoke of you. You walk in What the hell is that? I've I've never seen this before. Perhaps you wish to partake in his service. Go ahead. Their blood is yours to spill. Uh yeah, sure. We'll kill some folks. And apparently also you. I don't... Sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, they were they were really just like, You're an ally. You can come help us kill people. And then they just started attacking us. Who knows? <laughs> the refugees are also our enemies. Okay. Sure, why not? Why not? Um, yeah, we'll just start killing the, the, the weak little guys. I, I, I don't think this is a fight we need to worry about, even with the auras of murder. Are they even temporarily hostile? No, they're just straight hostile hostile. This is Lone Wolf after all, yeah. That was my bad for thinking that we might have temporary allies. That is a another one that bites the dust. This is really sad for them too. Like, you, there's four of you, you got the drop on me. You made me think I was your ally and you guys still can't do jack to me. Pathetic. They seem so trustworthy, too. They really did, yeah. I thought they were going to be our new besties. What's the uh, what's the odds of us getting stunned? How worried about this stuff should I be? Well, not very, evidently. I don't really know why we're rolling with disadvantage, but... It doesn't seem like we're going to get stunned. Why are we rolling with disadvantage? Oh, because of Deep in Bliss? It's Deep in Bliss. That's okay. We're fine with that. Rolled a two, but still fast. Yeah, I mean, I guess we fail on a nat one. We are nat ones, automatic fails in this game. They are. Yes, they are. I know that. I've seen that a thousand times before. I would like if Sea Blast could have an effect like the Warlock's Mortal Reminder would be pretty flavorful. Yeah, I mean, it's very clear that Sea Blast is not meant to be, like, a powerful skill by any means. Making one attack per turn must be fun with Unstoppable, yeah. The Orin fight's gonna take a little while. Michelle just thinks really hard and all her enemies' brains explode. Pretty much, yeah. We'll get him. Our average damage is 20, so it's not like too bad once we get past the unstoppable stacks. 22 if you count the Callous Glow Ring. Hey, there you go. That's average. Resisto. 
lets you knock her off the ledge. Yeah, we're definitely gonna knock Orin off of ledge. We're just gonna force tunnel her off the edge once we get through her unstoppable stacks. Oh yeah, we gotta kill these guys now too. Howdy, fellas. Oh, they're ready to throw hands. All right, show me what you got. Your days are numbered. I love how they were frightened of the guys who were failing to hit them when they were like on the other side of the room. But they're not frightened of the woman who came in and killed them all with just a thought. Does she have psychic vulnerability from you? Oren? Yeah, she should. I missed the previous stream. Why does nobody attack you? Because they can't damage us. <laughs> um, it, when an AI can't deal damage, they just stare at you. So, yeah, they, they've just kind of given up. Might as well pick this stuff up. What gives them the vulnerability is the resonance stone. You get it at the... You can find it in a room at the end of Act 2. It's just a little rock you can hold in your inventory. It emits an aura. Where is it? There it is. It gives the steeped in bliss aura, which is... Advantage on all physical attacks, disadvantage on all mental saves, and vulnerability to psychic. That affects us too, so... That's why we had disadvantage on the stunning gaze. Why the AC so high? Um... Nothing fancy. We just got hit by a trap. How rude. And that didn't refresh our temp HP. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the right way. One of these days I'll, rem I'll memorize these sewers. Okay, here we go. Someone didn't watch the Act 2 videos? I mean, the... I don't think we had that happening in Act 2, where the enemies just, like, gave up on attacking us. All the way up here, I'm pretty sure. That's where we need to go. Finally beat Tactician Merkel. Hey, congrats! How does it feel? I'm tired, but I want to watch the stream more than I want to sleep. Well, don't, well, don't ruin your sleep on my behalf. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Sleep is good. I love sleep. Kept him blinded all the time? Yeah, that's a really good way to take out Merkel. Ah, this leads towards Cazador. I keep doing that. This way we need to go? Didn't they patch that out? I mean, they patched it out so that he can he can still heal through the blind, but they didn't make it so that he can still target you through the blind. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's talk to the mud man. Uh, and just get a bunch of free XP. We're here. No reason not to. What's up, homie? What's this, cousin? Hey, Lefay, thanks for the storyteller to your membership. Thank you, very appreciated. Thank you, very, very much, seriously. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, you guys, yeah, you guys are nice. I like you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. So true. Idea. This guy got a Disney villain voice? He really does, yeah. I mean, look at his name. That's a that's a Disney villain name, too. Why does A-list serve? You have it wrong. I'm not with the Absolute. I believe you may believe that. The Absolute takes people, twists them. 
He kind of eats, not gonna lie. I mean, look, look at his clothes. That's some hella drip. If, like, I wish the sewer people in my city dressed like this. That would be sick. He looks like Jared Leto. I can see it, yeah. I'm with a different cult, man. Do you guys think Aelis eats the grease? I wouldn't be surprised. Currently having a discussion whether Aelin is a bottom or top in the Discord. Oh, good lord. You guys got me while I can't moderate the Discord. In my first run ever, my tab was named Saren. I ambushed this guy and never talked to him. When I saw a corpse with my tab's name, I got so freaked though. That's pretty funny. This bro is yapping. Good lord. Oh, thank god. Why does favorable beginnings hate intimidation? We'll do deception. Good lord. Barely making it with a plus 14 to 17. Good. That is good. She deserves more than me. Pay your respects as you pass then, and do not come back. Currently, this guy is a half drow. Interesting. And a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. How are you half drow? No shot drow breed with other races. Did we not get experience for that? Okay, we did. Easy 3300 experience. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's get on our way. And then it's over here that we wanted to go. What level are you? We're level 10. Still a little ways away from level 11. But we'll probably get there after... Well, I don't know how much experience the Orange fight really gives. We'll see. We have a couple fights to do. We have to do the, the, the power word kill fight too. Okay, I don't think this guy sells anything useful, but we might as well check and see. The penitent looks at you silently. What you got, home dog? You know, I'll actually take some more thieves' tools. We're kind of running low. Yeah, nothing else really. Um, I don't know. We might need some more speed pots eventually. How many do we have? Do we have any speed pots? I don't think we do. I want to get a few for the final fight. Um. Against the nether brain, just so we can displace your beast and chug him and go ham. You got the Thanos chin? He does, yeah. I was scared of facing Orin at level 12 with 40 party members on my attack run. How do you do it solo at 10? Uh, we might not be able to. Uh, I just kind of... Like, this is going to be the true test of how tanky we are, really. I don't... I don't really understand what our capabilities are yet, because we haven't really faced enemies who are capable of damaging us. So, we'll see. A rush of ancient whispers fills your mind as you approach he's not honor mode, he's fine. Exactly, yeah. We're magic. gonna test. If, if we were on honor mode, I would definitely do some power leveling first. A new vessel brimming with blood. Warren slapped my cheeks yesterday, kept getting chained, frightened, and stunned. Yeah, that's... Getting frightened is a bit of a bummer, for sure. I'm an amulet of ball, let me pass, door. But it's gonna take a while, right? I'm gonna head to the shower now, I think. Okay, sounds good. We've gotta go through the, the, the... Power word kill fight, anyways. One of Ball's unholy assassins. And it pleases him. The door we have come to the conclusion that Alien is a power bottom. Interesting. Uh, I am honestly kind of looking forward to doing this fight just to see how tanky we are. Uh, obviously, getting knocked prone by Orin is going to suck, and there's probably not much we can do about that. I didn't save. For 
some reason I thought this ambush was like further back. That's okay. We'll just get this guy with a force tunnel and then we'll be fine. No way Isabel is a top. Uh, what's the best way for us to fly across here? Go here. Do a little action dash. Do a little fly up here. Do a little bonus action dash. Do a little fly over here. Do a little force tunnel. Target cannot be moved by force. He's unstoppable. Oh, I forgot about that. Can we? Okay, in that case, we're gonna need to go... Displacer Beast to do this, right? If there's nothing else we can do. Because we just can't deal enough hits otherwise, right? But we don't have Displacer Beast up, so we're just cooked this go around. This is, this is just a death. Yeah. When was my last save? Okay, it, was, it wasn't too far back, I don't think. He teleports to the door as soon as you hit him, too. What an annoying little goober. Well, there's not much we can do about that. Having to long rest for specifically this fight kind of sucks. What does Power Word Kill do exactly? It's just an insta-kill? Yeah, so it's not an actual Power Word Kill, where it's like 100 or more HP, or 100 or less HP. Yeah, that's a bummer. That is quite the bummer. Black holing him won't do anything. We don't have any other illithid powers. Because we don't have Displacer Beast up, we're, we're cooked. You can skip this fight, just run out of his chant range. What is his chant range? 55 meters. We could just go to the way, way over here and then we're good? Or is it like, is it this red outline that we need to get past? The red line? Okay. We could just... We could just walk past him then. Okay, well, that works too. Alright, goodbye. I don't know why we're flying that route, but uh, there we go. Invis before fight also works. That's okay, we'll just, we'll just walk away. We'll just leave. Triple dash, my beloved. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <sighs> I did want the experience from killing these guys, but oh well. So, Aura of Murder is something that's going to be interesting. I was kind of hoping he would hit us so we could get like a like take a look at what the damage was going to be like. Locked by Ballist Mischief. Do we just end our turn? Is he going to stop? Do we need to kill everybody else? Do we need to wait the five rounds? You can just leave. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I mean, we'll start shooting, I guess. All right, Manglin. Okay, so apparently Manglin Abbey can't damage us either, even with the aura of murder. So I think we should be pretty good in the Orin fight. Love how she raged just to walk right next to you. Yeah, the enemies are really having a hard time of things. Is the fight gonna end when we kill this guy? I sure hope so. I hope that he stays there too. Oh, that person's giving it a go. 
Maybe these guys can get us. Maybe it's because Manglin Abbey isn't doing piercing damage. She's just slashing damage or it makes you weak to pierce. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, I want to get hit by like one of them. Uh, just I just want to see how much damage they're going to do. What type of damage does Orin do? I would imagine slashing from all like the you know, flailing limbs and everything. What are their odds to hit? Really bad. She does piercing, I think. That's a bummer. Hey, okay, last turn on the power word kill chant. Flashing, but she has a pierce attack. Okay. I mean, it's mainly like her multi attack that I'm worried about for the damage type. Casting slow on me, what the heck? It actually worked. No. No. Okay, so are we... Okay, we're still going to be able to concentrate a blast each turn, but the coward's running. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna take a, a long rest anyways. Can you get your ass back over here? Good lord. Can we get into blasting range? I don't think we can. I'm gonna find out. Okay, that was a lot of zeros, uh, but they, they hit us. Just didn't deal any damage. That's slashing damage, piercing damage. What happened to Aura of Murdered? Why isn't that not affecting us? Oh, apparently our bonus action vanished? When did that happen? Who knows? This fight is not bad on a normal run. Just warp to the power word kill caster and kill him and it's over. Yeah, I mean, it's not a hard fight by any means. No bonus action because you're slowed. I mean, it ate one of our bonus actions. I saw that happen. Head back here, coward. Let's fly in here. Cannot find path. Why not? Okay, we'll fly here then. Okay, good job, team. Let me leave. Okay. Oh, he's not steeped in bliss. In fact, nobody's steeped in bliss. Why aren't you steeped in bliss? I'm steeped in bliss. They're steeped in bliss. Are you immune to steeped in bliss? It's either move or bonus, apparently. Interesting. Does haste revert slow in Baldur's Gate 3? That's a good question. He's undead. Oh, he's undead. Interesting. Oh. You're right. He is undead. Please, let me kill you. This fight does not need to take so long. Stop running. Maybe if I stay here, he'll stay there because he wants to, like, do stuff to us. We'll see. He's literally made of hate, just like me for real. Oh. They damaged us. Good for them. One point of damage, but it still counts. Thank God. Why are you guys still here? Surely they disappear in, in, in a second. Why is my concentrated blast not triggering? Available next turn? Why? I didn't use it this turn. What the heck? 
All right, game, whatever. <laughs> I'm proud of them. Yeah, I said good for them. I'm proud of them too. Melissa is just coded in Greece. That's Michelle to you. Okay, good. They're done. Let's get out of here. What a what a nightmare that fight was. I love these little guys. I wish I could have these guys in in my house, you know, like a little entrance hallway where where I, I got a bunch of statues to like hype me up whenever a guest comes over. F five, you're so right. I guess you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, and most of the shots you do take, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna take a long rest. I hate taking so many of them, but would really like to get our Mind Blast back. Take a long rest. And, um, the game plan is just use Black Hole to pull her dudes off the edge and then start slowly concentrated blasting away at her unstoppable stacks and then shove her off with a Force Tunnel. Maybe we don't need Mind Blast at all. But, I mean, it couldn't hurt to have. We'll just do it just to be safe. Does a partial long rest refre refresh Mind Blast? I don't know. Even if it does, I don't mind using Cap Supplies. I don't really care. I still count it as a long rest for my stats, so... Just going for a little nap right outside Ball's Temple. Hey, we're an unholy assassin. Michelle is a, da is a Tav, yeah, not a Dirge. All right, uh, so we'll probably go in with Sanctuary. Withers wants to speak with you. Withers can wait. Unstable blood, scary. I'm getting the feeling there might be a trap here. <laughs> that was some good comedic timing. <laughs> okay, um, Resistance Sanctuary is probably the play going into this fight. Did I miss boning the squid? You did, yeah. Press the amulet against the door. Yeah, sorry, Stara. Yes, we will. Probably. Uh, let's go ahead and drop aid. Third level, we'll drop a light on us. We'll do a little a little quick save, methinks. Does Black Hole break Sanctuary? I don't think it breaks Sanctuary, but it can hit people in Sanctuary because it's an AoE. We can get these two with one black hole, I think. Maybe we can get these two with one black hole? Like over here somewhere? These two might be a little tricky. We'll see. We'll see how this ends up working out. Uh, um, I don't know if I just quick save, but I'm going to do it again. Is the character Dark Urge? No, we're a tab. going to Sanctuary. Resistance. Bring it on, Oren. Bring it on. If you really think about it, void, bul void bulbs can be considered an illithid power. Yeah, but I don't consider them an illithid power. Why go Tav over Dirge if you're going to be an unholy assassin anyways? Because I... Because I like telling my own story, and I also don't like 
how easy Dirge makes the game. Maybe you can get all the ritual guys in place with Black Hole and push them all with Force Tunnel or Repulsor. Yeah, I'm probably going to use Repulsor on one of them if need be. Or like a group of them if need be. Her fate is of no interest to me. Yeah, we don't we don't care about her. Oren ignores Sanctuary in all my runs, or maybe it's only for the Dirge Duel. Might be for the Dirge Duel, yeah. No, sorry guys, we're evil. I don't know what you expected. I go Dirge because this series is all about ball spawn, goes with the tradition. Fair enough. I did Dirge for my first run. It was a lot of fun. But how about Repulsor on all four? I mean, we would need to use Black Hole to get them all in one place. At which point, I'd rather just use Black Hole to pull them off the edge. Sticky sweet, but nothing special. Wow, smash. Not again. Every time. The kid is so cute. I have never found her cute. I have always found her annoying. She's so hot, okay? I mean, she is, but we don't need to do this every time. <laughs> I can fix her for sure. She can make me worse. That's what I want. Get her a little loot. <laughs> Love the disengage. Yes, we do need to do this every time. I need everyone to know this. Okay. Does this count as an AoE ability? Interesting. Well, I guess we'll wait for that to wear off. That's strange. Um, we'll just use a dash to, to get over here. Maybe we can get them to group up around us so we can pull this person off the edge too. I mean, that's targeted, so I call bullshit. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, it's definitely bullshit either way, but, like, what's a boy to do? The game says it's so. Okay, we should be good. They ran away, though, which is annoying. I don't really like having Oren right, right, right above me, but we'll uh, do this. A little black hole sun. Really hoping to get that person too. Uh, but I don't think we can. I think we will simply not risk it. We'll just pull these guys. Go for a little black hole. Why did that person not get flung off the edge? That was the person I was expecting it to work on like the most there. Um, speaking of, which would be a good way for these guys? I don't think we're getting the both of these guys in one pull. I was really hoping we'd get both of those guys in one pull at the very least. Um. That is quite the bummer. Maybe... Can we get these guys at all? I feel like these braziers are going to be in the way. Probably safest to just pull them down this way. And then get two... Next turn. Yeah, we'll just dash over here. Their path probably would have hit the rock part you can't stand on, so it just cancels the pull. It's rough. Yeah, more more of the abilities in this game need 
um, need like the the freaking targeting preview. Okay, well, she did 20 damage with a crit, but that really didn't deal much to us. If I use it on these two, is it gonna is it gonna pull them off the edge? If I do it like right here, I really really hope so. Got one of them. Why game? Why? Okay. What are the odds of repulsor working? Not really high either. Oh, good lord. I don't think we're going to be able to get both of these guys with one. I'm going to... I mean, worst case, we can use Force Tunnel on one of these guys and then just very slowly take down Orin. Yenna, Yenna did get cooked, yeah. Okay, we will try and pull this lady off the edge with another black hole. Thank God. Then we'll just cast Resistance. Get our temp HP back. Okay, um, yeah, I'm not feeling good about this start. Yeah, we'll psionic backlash that. Maybe I should have psionic dominance that. What would be the best spot to do this at? Like right here, right? Like at the edge of this rock? Let's give it a whirl. What the hell is that? Getting actually scammed here. Maybe the play is to group them all up and go for a repulsor. Cause this is kind of this is kind of baloney. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we'll do this. Worst case, we get two of them grouped up, and we can go for a repulsor on both of them, which is exactly what's gonna happen, I guess. I've not been keeping track of how many black holes we've been using, but I think we have like one left. Which, ah, goodness gracious. Don't worry, Oren. Keep it up. You'll get us one day. What build are you doing? I'll go over it after this fight. I think that guy's out of slows. Or no, we're, we're just still slow. We didn't break out of it. Okay. Try and pull these two off the edge. Maybe we can get both. Nah, I'm not going to worry about that other guy. I'm going to just focus on making sure we get this guy. Maybe it lets us do it. I'm sure we're past five uses of black hole, but maybe it's... Maybe it's like it lets us use it again for five, the next five turns. And because we have two bonus actions, we've been using it like crazy. Okay, let's try this. What the hell? Why won't these guys go off the edge? What do you want from me, game? Stop critting us. I, what did I just say? Three, three crits? What happened to the one over here? Didn't we leave one over here?
Can you walk over and see if you can repulsor them? I'm trying. We just keep getting knocked prone and slowed and stuff. <laughs> it's automatic crit if you are prone? Really? No kidding. That's a bummer. No, you killed that one? Huh. Okay. Okay, how do we get these two? I need to use a bonus action to heal this turn. Or maybe just an action. What if we do it, like, here? This can't be done. It's not possible. Can't be done. Okay, I'm gonna throw down a healing potion. Does Orin not have opportunity attacks? Oh, I forgot about the ice. Sentinel foe, though. Okay. That's fine. Not fine, apparently. Okay, we might die. Fucking stairs! There's like one stair here or something. What's going on? Did I just miss the throw? I could have sworn we were on that. Ugh. Oh, we might just be dead because of that. Unless Warren does that. Yeah, in which case we're fine. <laughs> Please don't steal my healing potion. Thank you. I'm not going to Psionic Dominus or Ray of Frost. You got to be joking me. Okay, our, our black holes are, are done, though. Got our big heal. Sentinel fall. Okay, we're just going to Misty Step and go for a Repulsor. And hopefully it gets both of these guys. Pray to God it gets both of these guys. All right, we're doing it the long way. Uh, we're gonna force tunnel this guy off the edge, I guess. And then we're gonna very slowly take down Orin. Uh. I'm gonna go sleep now. Bye, Pooks. See you later, Robin. Hey, she's hitting us. Hey, please just, please just go away. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, we might as well deal with this guy first, so we don't have to be stressed about the chances of us getting stunned. Can go for a mind blast on both of them. Might as well. Actually, stage fright's probably pretty good. Yeah, pretty good odds of that working out. Let's just do a stage fright. Okay, stage fright, recast resistance. Chill out for a second. You got this. I'm sure we do. Oh, that's messed up. Why did she heal for 12 HP at the start of her turn? Like, like seriously, why, why did she heal? Revitalizing gore? Was that one of her attacks? She has a delayed healing attack? We might be here a while, guys. We might be here a hot minute. Um, we'll wait for Stage Fright to run off. For now, we'll just... Blast her, I guess. And then we'll, once Stage Fright is gone, we'll go for the, the, the Mind Blast. How smart are you, Orin? Unfortunately smart. I 
I thought this went away if we succeeded enough. Okay, no, it's we need to succeed three saves. Yeah, we'll start blasting this guy. I really hope we don't get disease. That would make me sad. We have disadvantage on attack rolls and checks. Is there any elixir that I care about here? Probably heroism would actually be pretty good in this fight. We'll drink that. Avoid getting knocked prone and, and stuff. Okay, we are stricken with flesh rot. What does stricken with flesh rot do? Vulnerability to all damage. That sucks. Do I have lesser restoration? I do. We'll use lesser restoration then to avoid, you know, vulnerability to all damage. And then we'll go for a mind blast. Take a step back so we can get Yenna too. There you go. Oops, don't want to loot Yenna. And you know what? Uh, just because we can, we'll lower Orin's armor class. Nah, never mind. No, we won't. Uh, I love Magic Missile. Yeah, Magic Missile is very nice to have in this fight. Not disadvantage on attack rolls, I know, right? What a bummer. If she keeps healing, I don't know if we're going to be able to out-heal her is, is a big problem. Uh, and because of that stupid black hole thing... I mean, that was 17, which, which isn't a ton. How much does she heal for? 4 to 24, we deal an average of 22. I guess we can, it just might take a while. Magic missile only run. Maybe at some point. I'm not too interested in that one if I'm if I'm being real with you. Mind flares use magic missile in the final fight. I think you should be able to use it. <laughs> not an illithid power, unfortunately. Uh we're getting there, at least on this guy. gonna really suck if he stuns us. At least we're getting through the fight without having to worry about our health too much. I kind of figured Orin wasn't really gonna be able to damage us. Uh, I didn't realize Orin had a heal though, which might be a bit of a problem. I also think this next turn I'm gonna reset our resistance. So that we're ending with it. Good lord. Okay, I thought I thought she was about to res somebody else again. Yeah, we'll reset our resistance and uh, go from there. If you want to get technical, once you're an illithid, everything you do is an illithid power. True. What is she trying to sanguine animate? All right, buckle up, folks. We're gonna be in it for the long haul. Run where you used to do slash charm your way out of as many situations as possible. I mean, we tried in Bartholomew. It just didn't work out too phenomenally a lot of the time. Hey all, I just got home from work. Hope this run is going well. I'd say it's going pretty good, yeah. This fight might be a little annoying, but we'll get through it. I got popcorn. This is going to take a while, yeah. This must be so sad for Bald to be looking down on. Like, not only did he give Orin his blessing, 
turned her into a slayer and everything, and she's not even breaking our temp HP. This is just upsetting. That's why I wanted to reset resistance. So that we could save against that, because that's her healing. Pretty high DC, too. At least it's a con save. We're pretty good at those. Wait, hold up. We have... Yeah, plus 3d4, plus 2, plus 4. So we're pretty good at those. Alright, the unstoppable stacks are done. I'm convinced that after all this, Truant could do a sol solo honor mode run. Oh, I have no doubt I could do a solo honor mode run. Um... I'm just not doing it because I don't, I like, I like doing kind of suboptimal builds and stuff and play styles. And I like testing shit too, you know? I like not having to worry about going into a fight and being like super prepared and optimizing every single thing. Because sometimes I like doing silly little things. We're settled in for the long haul now, everyone. Yeah, get cozy, get your popcorn. That was pretty good damage. We love to see that. Yeah, balls disowning her for sure. 100%. Solo anything deeply terrifies me. I honestly really do enjoy playing just solo tactician runs i'd highly recommend giving it a shot if you're interested in it of course if you don't think you'd like the play style that's totally okay oh no did we did we get sumptuous bloodbath oh no i actually don't know but whatever it's happening she's healing regardless of what caused it it is something we have to live with Just go Eldritch Knight if you're terrified. Shield makes you unstoppable. Yeah, I mean, shield is really good. Um, Eldritch Knight gaining access to, like, blur and shield is, pr is pretty sick stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it didn't apply if you saved. Maybe we failed to save. I just wasn't paying attention or something. We're making progress, either way. She is at lower than her max HP. Yeah, we just failed the save. I That's upsetting. We're just low and roll. Low and roll? Rolling low on that. Eventually, we will win this fight. It's just a matter of time. Don't worry. might not be the strongest, but it's definitely the most comfiest to solo with. I, yeah, that's part of why I started with Eldritch Knight. Kind of figured it was going to be okay. This is taking a lot less time than I expected. <laughs> that's surprising. It's so funny that we effectively gain 20 HP every single turn. Poor Orin. Like, yeah, you hit us for nine. We're still up full health. You'll get us one day. Resistor. Another failed save. This, that's astonishing. I'm pretty sure we're likely to succeed these saves. DC 21. 3D 4. Average is out. 8. Plus six, we have a plus 14 on average. Go get us one day. How do you gain so much HP at the start of your turn? Which equipment is it or is it a buff? So it's a combination of equipment and life cleric. So we have the Helm of Baldurin plus the Ring of Regrowth, plus the Periapt of Wound Closure. Periapt of Wound Closure? Yeah. Um, 
Pure up the wound closure maximizes healing. Ring of... Uh, oh my god, I just said the name of it. Ring of regen um, gives 1d4 healing at the start of your each turn. Botherin gives a flat 2, so that's a guaranteed 6 healing. The level 6 cleric feature, for some reason, treats them as spe level 1 spells. So, because of that, we heal an additional 3 HP off of each of our items, so we're healing from 12 there. And then we also have the Vital Conduit Boots, which give us 8 temp HP every time we cast a, ca or a Concentration spell. We cast one every turn with Resistance. Another failed save. Good lord. Why aren't you using the Vital Conduit Boots? I... I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Michelle is just the gift, gift version of the immortal snail, for real, yeah. Bro is too good at making builds, someone stop him? Thank you, thank you, I try. Why are you wearing boots? Wait, you want, you want to see my feetsies? Seven damage. That's not good. Oh, we're diseased again. Uh-oh, she out-healed our damage that round. Almost there, gang. We might get her with this next blast. There's a chance. We saved, at last. Oh, wait. Yeah, we did. Okay, thank God. Okay, we did not kill her that next turn, though. This next one, 100%. Oh, we got stricken with flesh rot. I think I'm just gonna blast her anyways. We'll live with the flesh rot for a little while. Easy Orin fight. Would you like to have a safety ring? Advantage on saving throws, disadvantage on attack rolls? I think that would be busted. I'm not gonna lie. No 50 rounds? How many was that? I like how it shows the corpse as if the skeleton wasn't ripped out of it in the middle of that fight. 4d3? No bingo card for you guys. Stand back and admire a job well done. A glint of light on something in the blood catches your eye. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's, she'll, she'll be fine. She'll get over it. Another stone. Michelle is unstoppable? Yeah, she's kind of a monster Seeking at this point. He is all that stands I was stressed us. when those black holes weren't working out, but, uh... Yeah. That ended up going pretty well. We will cure our disease yet again. A lesser restoration. We are no longer stricken with flesh rot. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick break here. Be right back. I'm gonna use the washroom again, but... Uno momento. Did you do Raphael already? No, I'm probably gonna do that last. Uh, probably tomorrow's stream. But we will be right back.
Okay. Oh my goodness, what's happening on in that? Ooga booga. Ooga booga for real. That is quite the power stance, yeah. My goodness. Okay. Let's do this. Let's let's play some video games. Um okay. That was a really easy fight. I'm not going to lie, guys. That was pretty easy. Let's loot her chambers, I guess. And then um I think for the rest of the stream, we're just going to do some little fights and try and get up to level 12. At this point, nobody can control Ray, and it knows it. If we relay the good news to Gortash, is he going to try and immediately go fight the Elder or go fight the Elder Brain? How's that going to work? Uh, we'll, we'll go talk to him, see what happens, and then we'll maybe do some little fights. Who could this fallen ball, ball spawn be? My goodness. Then that junk to camp. Um, get the wooden chest. He'll go, but you don't have to go? Okay. Let's go talk to our bestie Gordhash. Me sniffing Orin's gore pile. Wow, I hate that. Is the displacer beast helpful? It's helpful every now and then, but it's uh, it's just the AC is too low for it to be like tr truly genuinely helpful. Wait, that's meant to be dirge i'm pretty sure it is it's not there when you actually play as the dirge this looks like a really cool game are there any gates in it i love it when a game has a good gate of sorts there's yeah you're gonna be so happy there's Baldur's gate in it it's though it is a pretty good gate i would highly recommend it okay let's go hit up worms rock Missed a bit. Who did you beat since Viconia? We just beat Orin. Wonder if there's a Tav Corp somewhere if you play Dirge. I don't think there is, because Tav is just like a generic person, you know? Does this game have some baldness in it? I love when games have baldness in them. Not only does it have baldness in it, but it's it's balder than most games. Oh, there's so many people here. Instantly overwhelmed by all the talking. Get me out of this room! Where's the door? Oh, wait, is this where I need to go? It's gotta be upstairs, right? Why is the quest marker there? You can't fool me. I'm going this way. Oh, cool. What was the strat? We used Black Hole and Force Tunnel and Repulsor to push her goons off the edge, and then we just sat there and blasted her while she failed to do any real damage to us. Do you think Dirge Baldur's Gortash's gate? 100%. There's no way they don't bald each other's gates. This way, I think it is. Truant wears a hat on cam to hide that he's wearing a wig. I wear a hat on cam to hide my, my fro. Because my hair does just turn into like straight up an afro. I have very thick, very curly hair. And uh, you'll don't want to see me with a fro. I do not rock it. At least not when it's my bed head fro. I almost told my PE teacher who was bald that I can see the sun itself on the back of his head. That's that's wild. Truant black confirmed. More like truant Latino confirmed. You have the nether stones. They resonate with my own. I commend you for putting an end to Orin's madness. 
She must be screaming bloody murder. Prove you have air. Turn on face cam. You can't make me. My involvement with Orin was never a true alliance. Any other bosses you plan on killing before going to the brain? The big one is Raphael. Other than that, we don't have a lot of reason to kill any other bosses. Like, we don't have reason to fight Ethel. I'm pretty content with our current amulet. We're in post a face reveal. There's a photo of me in the Discord server in the pet's channel with my, my, my baby cat. First time seeing anyone side with Gortash? That's, yeah, I mean, it's, we're doing an evil run, so I figured why not, you know? Hold up, is he trying to intimidate us here? Because that might be a reason to, to do to not. Why are we killing Raphael? Because I want to do the challenge and also we can get his armor. Oh, man. I don't I don't like giving in to intimidation as Michelle. It just doesn't feel right, you know? We'll do an insight check, yeah. Uh we'll we'll, we'll use the astral knowledge, sure, why not? Good thing we did. You spot the hint of a smile. He is testing you. He wants you to refuse. Okay, that's good. I was going to refuse anyways. I'm not here for games. Hand me the stones, or face the black hand of Lord Bane. You can be allies, but Catherick and Orin's stones stay with me. <laughs> As they should. What a little, what a little gremlin this guy is. This be an he, he was yanking our chain. He was pulling our leg. <laughs> what a, what a guy. The Dark Lord Bane blesses our alliance. Our time is short. The elder brain is held beneath the city. We must go to it if we're to He's such a theater kid, the he really the is, yeah. Pool where the brain feeds. I will wait for you at the pool. With the nether stones in hand, the brain can't resist us. We will be absolute. Oh, he said it. He dropped the name. Why does he even do this? Because he's a silly little guy. He's just a little guy. He's just having fun. Gortash has perfect pitch. Are you just, like, saying that? Does he really? That'd be cool. I would love that perfect pitch. Okay, we didn't get any experience from that, but... Gortash would be kind of chill if he wasn't evil. Maybe hot take. I don't know. I would love to just, like, you know, honestly, get him in the blunt rotation. I would love to just hang out with Gortash. Okay, where are we going then? Where can we kill people? Um, There's the garden fight. We could do that. Why not, huh? I think this is closest. Oh yeah, we could do Kazador. Let's do Kazador. Being evil is kind of an integral part of his character. I mean, it definitely is. But like, if he if he, he didn't want to be like an, a full on tyrant, even if he's still evil, you know, get him in the blunt rotation. I want to see what this man says. You know, I just want to see what kind of like weird out of pocket shit he would say. Do Casador in the fifty round fight is back on? Yeah. I don't think we can stop Kazador ascending. Because all of his little guys have... Well, no, we could we could just kill Asterion, yeah. Killing Asterion, sending him t via mail to our camp is probably the way to do it. Do Raphael for the armor? We're going to do Raphael. Uh, Raphael, I just want to be a little stronger, you know, not level 10. Um... But yeah, we could do Kazador. Just stop his ritual and then... 
very slowly take out all of his goons. We could get a good mind blast on the on the big crowd, which will hopefully kill most of them. And then I guess just mind blast the other thralls to, to slowly weaken him until we're not too stressed. Yeah, we got mind blast stage fright to take out the crowd. I think we could do Kazdor. You can't do Raphael at level 1? Cringe. I mean, we could honestly probably do Raphael right now. I would just rather be at our strongest to do the hardest fight in the game. Yeah, we're gonna get a Necrotic Resistance Elixir first. I love doing Harlep Trans Flag, okay? <laughs> you got any Necrotic Resistance Elixirs, homie? Sure does not look like it. I'll take some more healing potions. Why is your stuff sorted so poorly? I know it's bad when I'm saying that. Okay, well, we'll track down a necrotic resistance elixir first. Unless we can make one. Doesn't look like it. Where else can we go? We could go to... Worms Crossing. The Netherbrain is definitely the hardest fight in the game. I don't know what you're on about. I don't know if you're just like joking or not, but I disagree. Poison resist elixir to skip getting sick. Uh, we're gonna just use protection from poison. But trust me, the necrotic resistance elixir when we're gonna be taking a bajillion necrotic res or necrotic damage is gonna be much much better. Where's this potion shop? Over here. Add Harlep to the blunt rotation. I bet he'd have some funny stories to tell. Yeah. Sterian was still dead in that palace even when I sold him out to the hunter at the back of the room being used in the ritual for me. Yeah, he always shows up there if he's not in your party. Another brain thing is serious. I've beaten the game on honor mode and still struggle with it. Well, I mean, hey, it's each their own. Everything alchemical from potions. You all are invited to my blunt rotation. Gonna be a big blunt rotation. It's gonna take a while to pass that thing around. There you go, necrotic resistance. Uh, we'll buy one of these. We'll buy two of them, actually. And then I'm gonna, since I'm kind of buying stuff anyways. Oh, I don't have enough money. That's upsetting. Okay, you can give me some of your money. We'll hold off on buying other things in that case. I was going to say I'm going to go buy a Globe of Invulnerability scroll, but uh, we'll do that later. Somebody just remind me before the final fight. Anyone know where the wizard and goblin are at? They're probably chilling, waiting, waiting for when they're needed again. Who will win? Terrifying giant nether brain or an entire city's supply of explosives? I got my money on the explosives. Can we put a dead Asterion in the pocket and send it to camp? That's exactly what we're gonna do. Because I do not want to take an action to kill him every single turn. That is gonna be like straight up impossible for this build. Add Catherick to the rotation and he instantly kills the mood. Yeah, do not add Catherick to the rotation. I really don't like that we get our abilities back transiting between areas. I'm going to I'm going to take a short rest for for proprietary proprietary for propriety, you know, you know the one. For being proper. <laughs> that word. Propriety's sake. That's, that's it, yeah. 
We'll go ahead and cast resistance before we go chat with these mind control ponies. Can we add Omeluum to the rotation? That would be sick. Not again, seriously? I've never seen this bug before and now this is the second time in a stream it happens? What the heck? Good thing we saved, like, right down here. Do not let Blackith in the rotation, please. This bug happened to me too? Yeah, it's strange. Not good, not a fan of it. Okay, please work this time, game. It'll be really cool. Add Theodosia in the rotation. She's just a little baby. She's not old enough to be in the rotation. You are intruding in the palace of Kazador Zar. Leave now, citizen. No. Yeah, we'll do the rogue deception. We'll drop a Guidance. Easy 28. We can also rob the bank if we need to. But the master desires. I'd rather do Casador fight. Enter freely and of your own will. That doesn't give experience either. Maybe we should have killed him. If you cast calm emotions on these guards that are freed of Casador and run off, that's pretty cool. The doors aren't opening anymore either. That's a weird bug. They're just like closed and then they're open. We are so close. 420 experience left. Big scary door. The door is covered in intricate text. Can't see anywhere, PG3 is a polished and non-buggy game. Honestly, if they made this game without any bugs, I would be even more astonished. We will try to decipher the text on the door. Easy, not 20. <laughs> Basically the same thing. The writing means nothing to you. You can't even recognize the script. All right, we're going to examine the hollow of the door. Wow. Yeah, we're just gonna kill the skelly man downstairs. Don't you guys worry. I've been, I've done this rodeo once or twice before. We'll kill the random goons too. They'll probably get dragged into the the furry convention behind the door. That's what usually happens. Well, you know what? We've got concentration going right now. I always forget Call of the Week doesn't work on people if they're not hostile towards you. There you go. There's a level up. Easy peasy. Yeah, this game gets infinite passes for bugs because it's so good. I, I can get behind that, you know. Okay, level 7 Cleric, because why not, you know? Could, we could, we really could go a one level dip in Fighter. But I kind of want the, the extra feat at the end. I think next level, we're going to take... Uh, we're going to take Tough. With more HP. I think that's the plan. Uh, yeah, we get some more spells. We get level 4 spells. We get another level spell 4 spell slot. Our first level 4 spell slot. Uh, freedom of movement is pretty cool. I can't think of a situation where we'll need to use it, but it's pretty cool. Does this work against the nether brain? Probably not. 
Uh, Death Ward is really cool, actually. This is a good one. This is this is such a very nice one. No reason not to cast it. Fighter, what for? Plus one to our AC. Defense fighting style. I wish there was a way to turn into a Mind Flayer before the end. That would make this run so much more fun. I I, I think being a Mind Flayer in for like the majority of Act 3 or for the entirety of Act 3 would just be broken, though. Because they are very, very strong. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of choices to make at this level. Death Ward is nice. That's what I have to say. In fact, it's so nice, we're going to cast it right now. Because there's no reason for us not to. Alrighty. Let's go find a, a skeleton man. And then we also need to... Where's that girl's bedroom? Is it downstairs too? Not in here. What's in here? Whatever killed this werewolf burned it up from the inside. Its throat and innards are more liquid than solid. Hey, there's some gold that's going towards the, uh, whoops, did not mean to pick up that book. That's going towards the uh, Globe of Invulnerability Funds. Straight down the stairs? Okay, that's not the stairs. This is the stairs. Okay, I gotta go. Thanks for being here, Tired Frog. Have a good rest of your day. Does the glitch of killing the Emperor when fighting the Honor Guard to turn the entire party into Mind Flayer still work on patch 6? I have no idea. That door is saturated with necrotic magic. Let's keep my distance. Yeah, that's fine. That's so weak. There's you, necrotic you, magic at work here. Is it open? Not open. Now it's open. Clearly. Well, <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't it be? Um, we'll just do a little, a little bit of dashing. Ow, take a, take a little bit of damage. Reader book. Learn some important words in the ancient Uzakuran language. And then, I guess we'll just end our turn, get our dashes back, and then fly out again. I could have used uh, resistance to get some HP back, but I think we might honestly heal in the werewolf fight upstairs. Okay. Can you not get in here if you don't meet that investigation? Oh no, it's just the brazier. It's not a hidden door. Or it's not a fake door. Illusory wall. Hey Igor, how's it going? Been absolutely loving the YouTube videos, man. Thank you, thank you, Digby. I, I'm really glad you're liking them. Yeah, no kidding. It'd be a shame if somebody ambushed us. We get a concentrated blast twice. We do. How magnificent! Uh, I just realized a pretty big problem too. Concentrated blast. It's not gonna work against Kaz, or it's not gonna, or steeped in bliss rather. It's not gonna work against Kazador, uh, which is a really big bummer. It's a really, really big bummer. So we are not gonna be dealing a lot of damage to him. Yeah, for real, Digby, this guy is so underrated and deserves a lot more attention for the quality of the vids. Thank you. That's really nice of you to say. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna head out and cry myself to sleep over the loss of my green name. Sad to see you go, Loki. I hope you, I hope you have a good sleep, at least. Uh, we can blow this person up, though. That's pretty fun.
Yeah, this Casper fight's gonna take a while. You might be right, Bunny. There might be an over 50 rounds fight. Almost definitely gonna be an over 50 round fight. Can Casador get awakened if you don't have Asterion? Yeah, Asterion is just there anyways. Full HP again, yeah. Like, it never even happened. Turns out healing 12 HP every round is pretty good. Quack. He's not even trying to get away. He just knows what's happening to him. This might even be like 70 to 80. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. Um... There's also a pretty good chance that we might die in it. Uh, healing is really nice, but just the amount of damage that Kazador can whip out is pretty insane. We do have Shield Master for um, Call Lightning if he decides to spam that at the very least. Have you thought of attempting some of the speedrun categories? Like Sex Percent or Scratch Percent? I think you would make those runs more entertaining to watch. I'm not a big speedrunner guy. So, no, unfortunately not. Maybe maybe one day. Drop a resisto. Do a little quick save. Hit up this door. Sealed, with naught to see but strange writing and a small hollow. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. Yes, my pronouns are he, him. From the dictionary you found. I was going to say that it's going to be an interesting fight against the Elder Brain, but I forgot that all Illithid powers means all powers, including the Beast Transformation. Exactly, yeah, I think it'll be a quick... Hey, Digby, thank you so much. My goodness, thank you for the five gifted memberships. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Can we kill all the ritual spawns, or are they protected? I never tried. Yeah, we can kill them. I, 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 I usually kill all of them. Thank you, seriously, so much. It's very sweet of you. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. It's gonna be a breeze once you unlock half Illithid. We are half Illithid. We unlocked that at the start of Act Three. Yeah, let's do this. Could you black hole Kazador off the cliff? Uh, he's a, he, he doesn't, you yeah, he's immune to gravity. Can't be here. No one in, no one out. Yeah, they taught him how to fly, unfortunately. But most important, These memberships dropping off must be a month since Theodosia first appeared on stream. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get her on stream again. How do you be immune to gravity? Well, he could turn into, like, mist, so that's probably one good way to do it. You can polymorph him and yeet him off? That's pretty funny. Uh, I guess the enemies have just given up on trying to hurt us already. I don't want to long rest again, but this fight's going to take ages if we, if we don't. Um, what if we... What if we get them all grouped up, go for a stage fright, transform into a displacer beast? I don't hate that idea. We'll do this. Why didn't you get pulled? Did the stool block you? Are you serious? Are you for realsies? Um, this turn will blast and the next turn will stage fight Displacer Beast. This is why I don't do solo runs. It looks like it takes so long. Most, most solo runs aren't that bad, but, uh... Illithid powers only? Definitely gonna take a while, yeah. Look at him slowly meandering. Don't worry, Bloodfang, you'll get there. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to use Displacer Beast uh, against Kazador. I'm okay using it here. 
do a stage fright on these guys. The rat saved. And then we're gonna whip out the displacer beast form. And we'll start swinging away against the guys who matter. The bats are all gonna blow up. Ah, not the crit miss. Immune to bludgeoning damage. Oh. Werewolves. Okay, we'll get everybody else. <laughs> we'll get everybody else. That's what we're gonna do. Please attack me. Please attack me. I'm begging you. Please. Just try. You never know. It might work. Please. Are they not hitting you because of AC or do you just have mad damage reduction? I think it's both. Oh my god. He just punched the chair to lose stage fright? Are you for real? That's a gigabrained wolf. Why aren't they attacking my displacer beast form? Can they not re- Oh, they probably can't reach because of the rats, huh? Okay, um... Well, this is annoying. Okay, we're just gonna swing against that guy. Okay, they're dead. Uh, start swinging against this guy. We'll displace you, and we'll just go here. How about that? Here looks like a good place. And you can come over here, too. There you go. We're, we're killing stuff. Hey, Quinn, how's it going? Metagaming AI. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Okay, things are starting to die. And also, st still hit us quite a lot. That stage fright was not great. Cassador needs to up that wolf's pay grade. That was insane. It was pretty wild, yeah. I'm gonna hunk shoe. See you later, Bode. Thanks for being here. So, these guys are immune to bludgeoning damage, so it's time to just kill all the rats, I guess. Excuse me, let me click on them. Rats and bats galore. Please. That was the ground. Oh, okay. We're going here. That's what that guy did. And you're... You know, I can damage you with this. There you go. We're dealing damage. Oh my god. He hated that rat. What's happened so far this stream? Uh, quite a bit. We... But goodness, what has happened? Uh, we beat Oren. We beat Viconia. Um, I feel like we did something else worth mentioning at the start of this stream. We've been gaming, you know. We, oh, we did the deed with the Emperor. Yeah, right. That I keep forgetting. Of, uh, that's what I keep forgetting. I keep blocking it out. Uh, you can come here with me. And then you can get whacked. And you can get whacked. Sure. And maybe even we can whack this bat if we can click on it. And look at all these kitty cats. My goodness. Can't wait to see how you'll be beating Kazador. Yeah, it's going to be a tough fight for sure. Since you don't have squad mates who got to see the Emperor scene, everybody in chat got to see the Emperor scene. But nobody else. Hey, okay, that's that guy dead. You're for the kitty cats. Hey, Anna, how's it going? Good to see you here. Thanks for being here. Are you planning on doing Steel Watch Foundry slash Iron Throne? No, we've uh, sided with Gortash this run. Because we are being evil. 
Okay, hopefully this is this werewolf dead. Thank you. And then... Start working away on this one. My god, this is a lot of cats. A truly unnecessary amount of cats, yeah. Now this is a furry convention? No kidding. If it wasn't one before, it is now. I was worried about the stacks of Unstoppable and the legendary action needing a kill every turn. Uh, for Orin. It, uh, I mean, the, the legendary action needing a kill every turn is only on honor mode. We're on tactician, so we didn't have to worry about that. Other than that, honestly, pretty easy. She just straight up could not damage us. Alright. That was a nice, easy fight. We will unkidify, kiddify ourselves. Uh, but yeah, no, she couldn't damage us. Uh, we used Black Hole and Repulsor and Force Tunnel to get all of her goons off the edge, and then we just stood there and blasted her. This Blazer Beast is just Theodosia with cables growing out of her. Yeah, it's her after she's eaten all my cables. Alrighty. Let's head downstairs and start wreaking some havoc. Hi, what did I miss? Good question. When were you last here? Stop. Don't ask about your gear and the Displacer stuff. Beast, trust me. Uh, we Unfortunately, we did already. Somebody in chat told me about that. Last stream? Okay, if you were here last stream, we did... We did the Emperor sex scene, which was a little upsetting for everybody. Well, for me, at least. I, I'm sure some people liked it. Um... And then we did the Viconia fight, we did the Oren fight, I think those are the main things that we did. Good luck with Kazador and good night. Buenas noches, thanks for being here, thank you. Okay. I need a long rest. No I don't, I need a short rest. I did that specifically so I didn't need a long rest. Is this the right way? This way? Is it this way? Not that way. Why are these gates locked? Were they always locked? Oh, it's the keyhole. Right, of course. You already did answer? Yeah, we did last stream, yeah. What is that noise? Any big updates to the build since last stream as well? We got Cleric level 6, which is really, really powerful for this build. We now heal twice as much health at the start of each of our turns. And then we also got uh, Viconia's Walking Fortress. Which is also pretty huge. Monster was very boring. Yeah, it's. I'm never doing that fight again. I gaslit my friend into thinking doing the Emperor is necessary for good ending. That's so funny. What the hell? Uh, busy. That's what I am. He'll find you, you know. And he won't kill you. He won't ever let you die. Answer is fun if you don't try to hide. You mean it's more fun if we just let him hit us with every single attack? I'm back, please resume. Okay. In my honor mode run, we just face tank the Novas. I mean, hey, if that's what gives you pleasure, more power to you. That's mental. That's, yeah, that's pretty funny. I don't really see how that would make it more fun. Because that doesn't change the gameplay loop, really. It's just you're just, like, taking damage every turn. I don't want to say I'm going to help you. I, I don't care about helping these guys. The last thing I remember. Fruent BDSM advocate confirmed. Hey, listen, if that's what you're into. Beautiful elf. I was just watching the active video. Keep up the content, dude. We Thank laughed. you. I hope you enjoyed it. We kissed. 
I think Onsir is just kind of back to this an inherently boring fight. I'm not gonna lie. Like taking damage I'm isn't what makes talk. fights exciting for me. It's what enemies are capable of and how you get around the challenges that they represent. Onsir, especially if you're just tanking the damage, is just about a damage race. Can you kill him before he kills you? Okay, I'm just going to say I'm going to kill Kazador just to get this conversation over with. It's not possible. I'll find a way. What happens to us? I, I I don't care about these guys. Stop making Michelle care about these guys. The Catholic fight was exciting for real. I I thought so too. I really liked that fight. That was a very dynamic fight. Time to sleep. Good goodbye, lovely people. Thanks for being here, Dionys D Dionysos. Okay. Um. So we want to go in with protection from poison. And then we have aid, we have death ward. We also want to go in with resistance and I think sanctuary too. And our elixir of necrotic resistance. Save the game? True. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's just it. Just uh, resistance, sanctuary. See what happens. All right. We're coming for you, buddy. How's it going, hombre? I believed all our guests had been dealt with upstairs. Werewolves leave so much. Wanted to see if he'd remember without prompting. But, as you are here... That's a lot of buffs. It is a lot of buffs. shame to waste the audience. We're doing... We're, we're buffing up for this fight. Is this a bad time? No. Your timing is perfect. Will it be enough? I actually don't know. I'm pretty nervous about this fight. This is the right of profane ascension. Attempted only once in legend. Is that so? Seven thousand souls, each bearing the scar. I love the voice acting for Kazador. Yeah, I like honestly so much of the voice acting in this game is just so good. Kazador's eyeliner game is on point. It is. He's looking good. Force tunnel Asterion off the edge. I don't think you can. I don't think you can force tunnel any of the guys off the edge. We tried to shove them off the edge last time. It didn't work. They did a good job making Kazador sound like a self-obsessed asshole. They did, yeah. Do you think he killed Asterion because he was no annoying? I would. That's wild. He's just a little guy. Can you not use the help action on him if he's not your companion? That is correct. A stupid miasmic Mistora. Oh, he just went right past us. That's phenomenal. Means we don't take the, the AoE necrotic damage. Uh. Alright. Excuse me, fellas. Coming through. Please tell me these guys can still take psychic damage. Okay, they can. They're just resistant. He's undead, though. Are, is everybody undead here? I think, like, the werewolves aren't undead, neither are the bats and stuff. But I think we're going to ditch our resonance stone for now.
we're just gonna get rid of that j just because you know it doesn't do much for us other than just make our mental saves worse which because of chatter teeth is gonna be kind of annoying we'll just spend this round dashing over to Asterion I should have blasted him this turn I should have I really should have blasted him this turn oh we still can he gives us the extra bonus action old plant I knew what I was doing We'll just get rid of him as fast as possible, actually. Make sure we don't have to worry about anybody ascending or whatnot. Just, uh... Mind if I do pick that up. How is he still getting Asterion's Ritual Source? He's dead. I don't... Where's extra bonus action from? That's... If you stand on Asterion's source, you get an extra bonus action. Alright, Asterion. Uh, hold up a second. Sort by... Type. Get in the handbag, Asterion. Okay, there you go. Problem solved. Okay, fingers crossed we don't die. Stick an invisible mage hand on another circle? Does that work? That's pretty funny, if true. I really don't like the fact that we didn't- that didn't count as us taking out a ritual source. Um, I hope that doesn't glitch out and cause him to ascend anyways. Like, it says he's still draining him. What is that baloney? If, the, if he does still ascend because of that, I'm going to be very, very sad. What's your favorite Hollow Knight area? Hmm, it's a tough question. I really like the, uh, where you do the Path of Pain. Path of Pain is pretty cool. What happens when he ascends? He gets very, very powerful. We'll probably find out because apparently we didn't stop his ritual source. Um, I don't hate just going for a Mind Blast here. Yeah, yeah. Back up a little more. It's getting Chatter Teeth, right? Good. Hmm, I was really hoping to get Chatter Teeth with that. Like, stun him with it at, at the very least. Fly onto the Ritual Source. Yeah, that has me very worried. Whatever's happening with that. Very, very worried. Uh, let's try and take out Chatter Teeth first. At least we broke his concentration. Of course you like Path of Pain, yeah. Uh. Fear. The Wisdom Save. We'll just Psionic Backlash that. Maybe it'll reset on Kazador's turn? A boy can hope. So there's the damage we're scared of. But we made the save. Didn't trigger our shield master because we used our reaction. That's why it didn't trigger that. Um, We will blast Chatter Teeth. We will use Repulsor. I'm okay with using Repulsor to maybe get three of these guys. I think that's as good as it gets for us. Wow, it worked. That's pretty good. That's pretty dang good. Uh, and then we will... 
We can absorb Intellect Kazador at some point in this fight, too. Because I think that's the spellcasting stat, isn't it? And then... You know what? We'll, we'll get a Mage Hand going, too. Uh, we'll get rid of... Who else is a pain? Yusin, Violet. We don't care about Violet. We'll get rid of Yusin, I guess. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. And then... I guess we'll go for a stage fright on these three? Yeah. Might as well. And chatter teeth, I guess. If you absorb intellect, he might forget hit the ritual. That'd be pretty funny. I can't believe that guy hit, by the way. With disadvantage? Good for you. Oh no, they're gonna find the mage hand. Why didn't the mage hand take any damage there? Fear, once again, we'll just use psionic backlash. Is that Mage Hand negatively affecting Kazador? Yeah, it's removing one of his ritual sources. Okay, there it goes. It didn't last long. It was funny while it lasted. Did we get a stinky aura from him? Are we in his nasty aura? I don't think so. I do kind of want to be ending our turn with Resistance active. Succeeding on saving throws is pretty cool. How long do you predict this fight will be? I'm going to say a long time. <laughs> I'm a little bit a long, long time. We need to take out Yusef. But the fact that Asterion's ritual source is not bugged, or is bugged, and is still working, uh, has me worried about how we're going to go about doing that. Uh, what a pain, what a pain. Uh, let's just start by taking out Chatter Teeth. I think that's the important thing. And we'll pull Chatter Teeth a little closer to us. So the plan, take out Chatter Teeth, take out Yusen, and then see where Kazador's at in terms of how he's affecting us. And after we take out Shadow Teeth, we're going to reset resistance. I'll use a Shield of Thralls, too. Is a speed pod worth it at the moment to reset resistance? Mm, I don't think so. The Displacer Cat would be crazy here if it can sit on the circles, too. You're right. Maybe that would be pretty crazy. Would you be against summoning a minion with a scroll and throwing an invis pot at it? I mean, it's not against the rules, but I don't... I don't really want to do that, you know? I think we'll, we're okay without that. Either way, we can't cat, because we didn't take a long rest. Oh, he only gets the stank aura when he's in his ball form, I see you. 24 damage, huh? Are we blinded or something? Why is the range on this so short? Oh, we are blinded. Where is Kazador? He invisible? Oh, there he is. <laughs> um, okay, likewise, we can't really black hole either. Where did this werewolf come from? I thought we killed all the werewolves. Uh, let's just try and pull Jatter Teeth like a little bit closer again. I'm 
like definitely not close enough. Maybe we can pull all these guys off the ledge, actually. What if we fly back here? And just just try and pull these guys off the edge. Come come here, fellas. Okay, that's a few of them. Come on, fellas. Off you go. Enough of you being here. There you go. We got we got a few of them. <laughs> And then we'll just fly back here. Which gives us another bonus action. Wait, can we just like dance off of this and keep getting bonus actions? Like if I use this bonus action again. That gave us another bonus action. Wait, that's so busted. And then we can, can we just keep doing that? Oh, no, I, I, I didn't fly. I didn't fly. Okay, that's pretty funny. I think we could just keep doing that. That's pretty busted. I don't I don't want to... I don't want to do that, but that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Uh, don't worry. I won't do that in the future. Oh, no. All the bats are here. Okay, um, Shatter Teeth, I would like you to die. He's always in, like, the most annoying spots. And Kazador's stupid stank aura sure ain't helping either. Kazador concentrating on something? Kind of want to blast Kazador to heal off of him, but I'm not too stressed about our health right now. Okay, we'll just... For one turn, we just won't get the extra bonus action. Instead, we'll move towards Shatter Teeth and get whatever this person gives us. Um... Yeah. And then maybe we can... Start pulling these guys off the edge over here. Well, we got a couple of them. What does this lady give us? Additional plus five to our AC. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe we don't need to kill the ritual sources this fight. I mean, it seems like we've stopped him from ascending. Even if Asterion's source is a little glitched out. He's not even doing anything to us. I think we could just blast him down from here. Uh, we do need to take out Yusen at the very least. Or stand on Yusen. Because he heals from Yusen. Yeah, let's, uh, let's finish off his goons. And then we'll stand on Yusin and just blast him down. I think that's pretty good. Let's see if we can pull this dude off the ledge, actually. Black hole makes bats forget they can fly. I was kind of surprised that worked, too. Okay, there's that guy down. Um, finishing off the, the, the bats one by one sounds kind of annoying. We could get a few more here. Might as well. Or not. That's okay. We'll just stay here for this turn. Force tunnel the bats off? Yeah, I guess we could do that too. <laughs> I love how that bat said grr. Uh, yeah, I'm okay psionic dominancing that one. Me when I resist, oh, so true. We might be able to just use a couple of black holes and just get all of these bats. Yeah, yeah, just swing at us, whatever. Can I do it now? Looks like it. Okay, 
Uh, yeah, let's just try and get them all with this. We got one like that. And then we'll try and get the rest maybe by going right here. Another one. Okay, we're getting them. We're getting them. Recast this to get our temp HP back. I think bats just continually spawn. They don't. They stop spawning. There's They come in waves. There's, so there's set rounds where they come. I don't know them off the top of my head. But yeah. Okay, we are done with... Uh, black holing. Unfortunately. I think we're just gonna blast down these guys. Just so they're not like terribly annoying, you know? When it's just me and Kazador, it's just gonna be us standing in one spot, pressing two buttons, and make initiative go faster. Trading some big damage between us. I think we do generally out heal him. I don't... Why did I do that? Uh... Okay. Maybe we can force tunnel this one. We could not. Almost. I'm not going to concentrate a blast this turn. It's not worth it. The mice will keep showing up, so I guess there's no point in killing them. They will not keep showing up. Stand on a Houston to get the hill. Heal? We will. Yeah. You're right. Might as well at this point. Okay. So, yeah, we're, like, never gonna die, huh? After this, what long fights are left? Um, not a ton. I think this is our last big major fight outside of Raphael. We broke his concentration. I'm kind of sad about that. I was hoping I could heal off of that. I think we're just gonna grind up to level 12 with some other various fights. And then we are going to... Yeah, and then we're going to take on Raphael, and then we're just going to do the final fight, which is probably next stream. Is Gortash dead? No, we allied with Gortash. Alrighty. Time to settle in for the long haul again, folks. Raphael is going to take ages. It's going to be a little while. But I don't think it'll be, like, extraordinarily long compared to our other fights. Uh, something to note is we could use... Did I heal from Yusin? What does Yusin give us, if not healing? Is it at the end of our turns? Because it certainly didn't heal us at the start of our turn there. Well, we're not stressing. Kind of sucks we have to... Um, we have to move... Up to him, so we didn't get the extra necrotic damage there. I think I'm also going to Perilous Stakes him soon. Where are you going? By your end, I will know Eternity? Yeah, you're going to know Eternity soon. There's also the Mummy Lord guy. I'm not too interested in doing the Mummy Lord guy fight. I don't care about the Mummy Lord guy. Why aren't you getting the Ritual Source heal? Who knows, man? Who knows? This game is so buggy. Oh. Yeah, no, who knows? I think you got that. The 13 was from Concentrated Blast. This was not from the Ritual Circle. Knock him off? You can't. He knows how to fly now. Uh, let's Perilous Stakes. What kind of save is this? Doesn't say. We'll absorb intellect. Yeah. Would have made him worse at, at the other saves, which is why I wanted to do that one first. He got his temp HP back. I think that happens when we step off of the... the ritual source. It's 
So because this blinds us, we can't blast him on these turns without stepping off the ritual source. But I am gonna... I'm gonna test this real quick, because I'm pretty sure when we do step off of this... Yeah, he regains all of his temp HP. Ah. So... <laughs> throw on the Watcher helmet? I think I would rather... It's going to do that for any ritual source we stand on. Uh, I mean, taking off the, the, the Baldurin's helmet makes us heal for five less hit points every turn. We also lose the saves and stuff. Um, if we kill Yusin, then he doesn't heal anyways. We could just kill Yusin and then just not stand on any ritual source. Turn off armor to help against call lightnings? Our armor should not be on. Likes to hide from me, though. It is on. What the heck? Could have sworn we turned that off. Okay. Uh, thanks for reminding me of that. I don't know when that would have gotten turned back on. Uh, we concentrated blast already this turn. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take out Yusin and then just not stand on any ritual source. He does have limited spell slots. Yeah, he will eventually just start attacking us. At which point we might actually go stand on Violet. Problem is, Houston's gonna take absolute ages to kill because he has resistance to psychic damage. But like, so the alternative actually here, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep blasting away at Kazador. We're gonna stay standing on Houston. We're just gonna skip the turns he turns into a ball, because if the game doesn't want us to attack, I guess we don't get to attack. Nah, you guys are right. We'll turn on. We'll put on the Watcher Helm. I sent the Watcher Helm away. We will not put on the Watcher Helm. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna blast Yusin whenever he turns into the ball. That's what we'll do. I don't know why I moved back into the aura, but whatever. Will waiting ball turns really be faster than just killing Yusin? I have no idea. We're gonna do both. When he's a ball, we'll shoot Yusin. When he's not a ball, we'll shoot him. Drilling? Listen, man. This is this is the challenge run. This is what happens, unfortunately. They count as undead, don't they? Steeped in piss, no worky? Yeah, steeped in piss does not work. Hopefully killing Yusin doesn't, like, regain his temp HP for whatever reason. Oh, he hit us. That was rude. What round are we on? Oh, we'll find out in a second. I think it actually is smart to move back into the aura, because if we stay over there and then he keeps the aura up, then he can blind us even at the edge of the thing, and then we have to step off of it even to hit him. We're almost through his temp HP, guys. It does seem he's out of spell slots, at the very least. You can just move slightly to the side, then keep shooting him. What do you mean? He's, he's, he's blinding us. If we take a step off of this... Like, okay, that looks like it's on it. Maybe we can? Okay, that, that time it was on it. 
but most of the time it's gonna get us moving off of it. We're doing it, folks. We're doing it. Has the illithid power moans gotten louder this stream? It literally has. Yeah, somebody asked asked me to turn up the game volume, so it is louder. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Yeah, that time will step us off of it. Hopefully this doesn't. There's a little... Oh, I see what you're saying. So if we move over here and step out of it, then we can hit him. Yeah, you're right, you're right. We could do that. I follow you. Yeah, we're gonna do the Raphael in tomorrow's stream. Adding this stupid miasma aura is maybe maybe my least favorite part about the changes that they've made to Casador. There is a sweet spot, though, where we can stay on and not, not be blinded by him. By your end, will I know eternity? Yeah, yeah. So you've mentioned. See, the worst part is, if we accidentally step off of this, he gets so much HP back. But we're doing it. It's just a little nerve-wracking. Twin already knows eternity, yeah. We're on combat round 31. Will we do it before 50? I can't have the bingo players win. Gonna chug some water real quick. That was so rude. Broke my concentration. That's really just like the babyest step that gets us out of the way. Oh yes. We've... Our resistance has abandoned us. That's okay. I don't think we need to reset it in this situation. Nerve-wracking and boring, but for Michelle, it only takes a few minutes, yeah. This is this is just par for the course for Michelle. This would have been a way harder challenge if Seablast could miss. I'm okay with the difficulty of the challenge as is. If Seablast could miss, though, it would be, like, borderline unusable. Don't worry, I broke your mama's concentration? No, not my mom. She's just a little guy. We sure are doing it, though. So, I watched this movie the, the other day. Um, called Primer. I had no idea what the hell was going on. Anybody here seen Primer? Your mom's a little guy. Yeah, it runs in the family. We're all little guys. What deals the necrotic damage? The ritual seal. Primer, I hardly know her. Oh, <laughs> you got me there. You got me good with that one. You got me real good. Little guy is what she said to you. Bummer. Primer is the best time travel movie of all time. I could tell there was some smart stuff going on in it. But I, I I was really exhausted when I was watching it. I like just finished making dinner. I had a long day, and I was like sat down, and I'm like I'm just gonna chillax and watch watch a movie. So I threw on Primer because I'd heard some good things about it, and man, I was not mentally prepared to understand whatever the hell was going on in it. That movie gave me psychic damage. That's pretty much how I felt about it too. Yeah. This fight is going pretty quick compared to some of our other fights. Yeah, definitely is. 
Hey, Game Reverse, how's it going? Okay, now he's now he's getting a little handsy about it. How many times did he just attack there? Relax, hombre. So this is a bit of a, a downside to us not taking out the the other various fellas. Is that now when he's doing his multi attack, he's uh he's hitting for a lot of necrotic damage. What's your EC? It's 25. Yeah, because he's dealing... 60, 10 necrotic. On top of 2d4 plus 6. Physical. We don't care about the physical. But the 60, 10 necrotic from all his various ritual sources... I mean, it should be 5d10, because... Where is Asterion? Tell me. Tell me, game. But, oh well. Uh, we will... Oh, I never perilous stakes him. Well, it's too late now. I don't want to do it now that he's multi-attacking. Yeah, there's there's not much we can do but just like keep healing. Uh, I'll use a potion just in, just in case. Okay, maybe I didn't need to do that. I wasn't expecting him to just skip his next turn. Can you transfuse health yourself? I don't think so. I've never tried, admittedly, but. Ow. Ow. He's so polite. He is pretty polite. Yeah, would you look at that? He's even staying in range even when we're blinded. Look at that. What a nice... What a swell fellow. We're also missing out on healing that we're supposed to be getting from Yusen. But we're still killing it with this fight, so... Two actions... And two bonus actions make two Sea Blasts per turn. You'd think so, but Sea Blast is once per turn. Once per turn. Haste is useless. The Ascended One has resorted to scratching, pretty much, yeah. Uh, but we are almost there. Maybe next turn, if not the turn after. We'll see. Almost. This next one for sure. And it looks like we're gonna beat round 50. Sorry to all my bingo players out there. You're not getting the round 50 square. Easy fight. No, what? Why didn't call the week work? What? Uh, okay. All right. Uh, sorry. That that was that was awkward. Um, <laughs> sorry. Just there. You go. Call the week. We got him. <laughs> we did it. Okay. That was that was a, a strange turn of events, but we did it. Might be late, but a few of these turns could have saved some health by using Sanctuary instead of Resistance. We were not really Frank worried about our health there. Peaceful, recovering in his coffin. There is no trace of the fury that you fought against. We used one healing potion that entire fight, and I don't think it was necessary. Kill Gazador. Yoink. Are you going to kill some pots with the dagger to up ability DC? Nah. I, um... I, is that, if that's one of those abilities that you can, like, t put on the equipment and then gain the benefit of it and then take it off, I don't like doing that. And if it isn't, if you're just talking about replacing our defender flail, I would much rather have our defender flail. That wasn't an illicit power. <laughs> hey, hey, it was a cutscene. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Your armor looks beautiful. Thank you. We had a fashion stream the other day. Uh, we're going to destroy the staff so the vampiric prisoners can never escape. That's pretty fucked up.
That's an evil lady right there. Nothing remains now. You have to kill actual enemies now, not just items. Well, that's another reason to not use it. Um, because we can't kill enemies with it. They said they did, but they didn't. Well, either way. Hey, Violet. Congrats on being free. Take his corpse for fun? Nah, that's okay. We will take his Rhapsody, though. How close to level 12 are we? About a third of the way there. Are you Dirge? I feel like it would fit. Nah, we're not Dirge. I prefer just, like, making my own story, you know? We'll polite over to close it back up. That is pretty funny. Okay. Let's get out of here. Are we gonna have to fight the Gur people too? Do a save just in case. I don't think they'll be able to hurt us, but... Just in case. That's pretty fucked up. Clicks button. Listen, we're evil. We're, we're evil Billy. Is not liking elephants due to their tentacles considered racism? Yes. I don't think they will fight you. You did what they wanted. Okay. I never know what triggers the fight against Hold these guys. There. Didn't expect to see anyone with a pulse coming out of that dungeon. My name's Ulmer. My people are monster hunters. But the vampire Kazador made us his prey. He attacked us. Stole our children. And left our tribe shattered. That sucks for you guys. That survived came here looking for revenge. But what do we find instead? Hitting Illithids is xenophobia, not racism. You leave with your work hard I guess so. May be what do you do to play with only one character? I don't see an option for Lone Wolf gameplay. You just pages? you just only play with one character. You just don't recruit the companions. You deal with it. Surely you can manage that. Very well. We will do what needs to be done. As for our children, we shall see what can be done. Hmm. I kind of wanted them to fight us. I'm done. Should we fight them? I feel like it'd be pretty evil to fight them. You know? If they're trying to free their their kids, cure them, or whatever, they're probably gonna care about them and stuff. We could just leave them locked up in here. Free XP? Yeah, we're gonna need a grind for XP anyways. The game forces me to have companions. The only companion you're forced to have is Lazelle. At the start of every playthrough, I just get her to jump off the edge of the Nautiloid and then never talk to her, revive her or anything. And then we're good. Okay. We'll blow people up. I think it's more evil not to fight them. How do you figure? Because if we don't fight them, they're gonna they're gonna leave the vampires, or they're gonna kill the vampires. I think that's what they implied, and then try and cure their children. But if we kill them, then the vampires are stuck starving forever, and we kill some good guys, you know. Imagine watching your children trapped forever in a dungeon. True. If you... The vampires are totally stuck with the staff broken. True. They're useful for the endgame. Ah, eh, we don't need their help. We'll be fine. Yeah, you're right. XP is only friend. We'll just blow them up. XP is the only friend. Blood for the blood god. Sort of fight. And now you have one. Okay, these guys like really aren't gonna be able to do a darn thing to us. Might take a little while though, but we're gonna do other fights anyways to get experience. That guy's trying to get away. XP for the XP bar, exactly. 
Uh, one problem, actually. We don't have our steeped in bliss stone. So this fight is going to take a little longer than I initially thought it was going to. When I was doing mental math in my head. Do we get our concentrated blast back? We do. Who's concentrating on stuff? You are? Yeah, that's not a lot of damage. Um, uh, you can skip plays out with any character with eight or strength higher and jump. Yeah, I guess we could do speedrun strats, but... I try and play relatively glitchless. Yeah, I did save after Kazador in case this goes wrong. No worry about that. I'm kind of just debating reloading the old save so that I can, you know, get my steeped in bliss stone and then kill these guys. It is also funnier to, yeah, send her off the edge. Oh, good lord. We're gonna be here a minute. Can you guys just give up? You're not gonna hurt me. It is simply not gonna happen. Look, you've already given up. I think I've made a mistake here. <laughs> 20 minute in and out adventure, yeah, pretty much how I feel right now. The yeah, icon of the companion still appears like dead, and when I go to camp, it kind of glitch. I hope in the future they add a native lone wolf run option. Yeah, it would be nice if they add a native one. I don't know what kind of glitch you're having, uh, where it's like, the companion is still showing up. As long as you never recruit them, you should be fine. Hopefully it's just this one lady that has healing. Because if more of them have healing, we're going to be here for a hot minute. Think Baldurin and Onsir ever fooled around with each other? Hundo percent. Okay, we. I should have. I should have gotten the steeped in bliss stone. Or just use Lazel on the Nautiloid and do lone wolf from when you land. It's self-enforced anyhow. Yeah, if you prefer. I had a 20 minute in and out adventure with your mama, please. We we know it was more like a two minute in and out adventure. <laughs> I am not gonna dignify that question with an answer. Okay, I, I think maybe they're out of healing? Maybe? Please? Okay, I think so. Because the answer is obviously yes. No, no. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Let's be real. Is that the guy from Act 1? Gandril? At least we're dealing, like, pretty nice high rolls. Oh my goodness. You still going? How's the run been? Easier than I expected, honestly. Yeah, that's the guy from Act 1. If you don't kill him there, he shows up here. That's pretty wild. Uh, yeah, it's, the run's going pretty good. Uh, the enemies have kind of given up on doing anything to us. There you go. We love to see one person getting taken out. Make initiative go a little bit faster. We can take out the rest, too. That guy's got some healing, I guess. Let's get this over with. That's how I'm feeling, too. Yeah.
No, I was really open for Call of the Week. That was the one time I didn't want a high damage roll. You could also walk away and grab the piss stone. I could, yeah. We could just walk away and grab the piss stone. We could just leave. We don't need to deal with these guys. You know what? Let's do that, actually. Let's, let's, we'll be right back, fellas. Hold up. We'll be right back. G give me a second. Two damage. That's just rude. What? Okay. Be like that, then. What class are you? Rogue Cleric. That poor barbarian, yeah. Alright, fellas. Good swings, good swings. You'll get me next time. Alright, let's get out of here. We're just gonna grab the stone, we're gonna be right back, we're gonna kill him. Just taking a, a little pit stop. Pick up. Alright, we're, we're back, ladies. We're back. This is the wrong way. Good lord, that statue. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. Okay, folks. Oh, they're not that mad about it. You know what? Maybe we'll let them live. Maybe we'll take a long rest. And then... Yeah, we're gonna take a long rest anyways. We'll take a long rest here. We'll come back. And then we'll start obliterating them. You know? Did they forget? They forgore. Yeah. Activate the piss cannon. Yeah, we will, for sure. Okay, we'll do our, our daily rituals. Cast. Whoops, not healing word. Aid on ourselves at third level. Cast death ward on ourselves. Get back out there. Your supplies running low? Yeah, not a big deal. We can get more. Alright, fellas. Let's do this again. Oh, almost left. We'll start with Cassavora Dofir. Uh, we'll sign on the back, watch that. Yeah. How do I deal with a scrying eye that is inside lava? I haven't the faintest idea. Okay. Are you using free cast? No, actually, I've been forgetting. I forgot free cast existed entirely. I guess we can free cast out like a a level four raid. That's a thought. Data scroll. This is an illithid power only run, my friend. We only had one bonus action that turn. We'll stage fright next turn. Oh, you're talking about the, uh, for the scrying eye, for the shatter scroll. I see. You're right, you're right. Yeah, we could black hole these guys too, but I, I think I would rather... Where are you going? What the heck? They're running for it. What's after this fight? I think this might be the last fight of the stream. We're just about reaching the six hour mark. And then tomorrow we'll start up, grind up to level 12 the rest of the way. And then take on Raphael and then finish the game. Will you do the deed with Harlep? Nah. Oh, we don't have light going. I forgot about light. 
That's okay. Oh, come on. Please keep attacking me. Ah, oh, why did you guys give up? I always give up when I when I drop the stage fright. When do the streams start? 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Did you do the deed with the Mind Flayer? Unfortunately, yeah. Michelle's heart belongs to the Emperor. Exactly, you get it. That guy's shooting. Good for you. Oh, he hit us. So rude. That's okay. We're making progress. Why, unfortunately, like, you had to click the buttons to do it? I promised Chad I would do it. I... I was not a fan of the whole event, but I did make a promise, and I am nothing if not a man of my word. Michelle got mind freaky with the Emperor, yeah. Would like to kill this guy. I should have been doing that. I should have been provoking attacks of opportunity. Because even if they can't hit you regularly, they'll still do that. Oh well. Too late now and their stage fright is gone. Just went away for a sec. Did you get the bliss stone? Yeah, we did. Took a long rest, grab the bliss stone. Now we're just bullying them. Harlep says Raphael is always slash often on the receiving end. Yeah, I, I heard about that. <laughs> All right, we're thinning them down pretty fast. Man, the Steeped in Bliss stone is, is really, really good for this build. I think Gortash does weed too, 100%. Weird that these guys are still temp hostile. Like, what does it take for you guys, these guys to get real mad, you know? How many of their loved ones do we have to kill before they're like, you know, I kind of hate this guy. He seems more like a fine wine enjoyer. He can do both. I looked at Gortash and thought he was an amphetamines guy. I can see that. Gortash does weed, but also started a war on drugs in Baldur's Gate. I can see that too. At least we can all agree that he does at least some drugs. I was hoping these guys would give more experience. 200 each is pretty measly. Uh, I think we're going to rob the bank for more experience tomorrow. And then we're also going to, you know, do the garden fight, walk around the streets, see what else happens to us. There's that one fight with the fish people. We can do that. We'll find enough experience to hit level 12. I think Nixon and Gortash would be buddies. You can't convince me that Nixon wasn't also, like, a chosen of Bane. I think Gortash does weed while listening to Panic at the Disco, for sure. Kill Kazador's level 1 servants upstairs, they give like 400 each and there's 5 of them. Yeah, we killed a couple of them. We'll get the rest. Do you have old tadpoles? Yeah, we've had old tadpoles since the second we hit Act 3. My favorite Baldur's Gate 3 character, Richard Nixon. Regan might be a little too evil for Gortash, actually. Might be. If Nixon is Bane, who is Ball? Oh, man. Getting into some politics, huh? Hmm. 
Regan is Merkel. <laughs> Lies ready to carry you back up. Why did I press leave? I'm gonna. I did not mean to press that. We're gonna go up. We're gonna kill the servants, and then we're gonna call the stream. OMG, you're still going. Right? Yeah, we're gonna end soon. Margaret Thatcher is ball for Neil. <laughs> There's nobody in this room. All right, little servants, where are you? Call the stream. Yeah, we're going to call the stream soon. Where are the servants? We're coming for you. Doesn't look like there's any upstairs. Did we... Did, did, did they just die when you kill Kazador? I could have sworn we left like one or two alive. I think they just die when you kill Kazador, because we definitely didn't kill that one. Oh, wait, no, we did kill that one. Did we kill them all? No, that, we definitely didn't kill that guy. Okay, yeah, they're just dead. Is it cheating to grab the cursed body and walk around to kill all the civilians for XP? I mean, I would consider it so, but... Your call and your own challenge. Uh, in that case... Let's, um, uh, head towards the park. Where is the park? Over here? The civilians give XP? Probably not a lot. Okay, we're gonna call the stream here. Either way, and then tomorrow we're gonna do the park fight right here gonna head down to the bank and do that fight and hopefully after that we're pretty close to level 12 if not level 12 we'll see uh either way there's tons of little fights we should be able to knock them out of the way pretty fast and then we'll hit up Raphael. uh if we're close to level 12 after those little fights then we might just go to the house of hope anyways and i'm sure the goons there can give enough experience but either way thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna call you mama here. No. Yeah, well, there's the Sawagan people, there's the fish fight. There's plenty of experience. Are you gonna bang Harlep? I wouldn't count on it. Uh, we only banged the Emperor because, you know, it fit with the whole Illithid thing. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good rest of your day. See you tomorrow, 11 a.m. Mountain Time, for the finale stream of this run. Adios, muchachos. See ya. Bye. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, there's the cuck guy too. Yeah, we can take out the cuck guy. That's actually a really good fight. I'll try and remember that for tomorrow. Anyways, yeah. Bye. Bye.